two, one. We are live. Hey, guys. Good Thursday afternoon, uh, night, and morning for some, uh, because I know Jack, uh, way out in Australia, it's actually morning. It's close to lunchtime for him right now. So, yes. first great news is I am on high speed now. I am on fiber. So, hopefully, the video quality is going to be good now. And no more jittery right. and when I show videos and all that. So compared to 1.7 gig uploads that I had before, I'm I'm now at about 16 gig uploads. So that's gonna help a lot. So and with us we have uh, Green Frog Kagan, uh, RC84 Films. So and we have Jack and Kagan with us in the back. Oh, there's Jack. I told to wait till I came back. You're back <laughs> just in time, Jack. You have the timing done perfect. Yeah, I know. And Tony's in the chat. He's he was in the video. He is did say he's going to come back, so he had some things to do. So, g'day guys in the chat. The uh, RC Master Bill Boynton Mets RC. Is that it? Yeah, there's uh, no nope, Mets or C. Yeah, Swampers or C's there. Steve O's there. Steve O. Steve-o. Good old Steve O's there. So, if you guys want to jump in, here's the link to jump in. You can click this link. If you only have a phone and live in the US, but there is a Canada somewhere you can, uh, not Canada, but Europe, that you can actually use. So I'll put the Canadian one. So if you're Canadian, you do want to jump in just using a phone. This is the phone number you use. There's also US, New York, and San Jose phone number that you can actually dial uh, and participate in the chat. So here's the US, San Jose, and New York area. And don't forget to enter the ID and you'll be able to uh, jump in via just using your phone, not even video. Well, now, don't use any of those numbers because if you use any of those numbers, you're going to go to a triple X. Triple X. No, you won't. <laughs> you're going to go to a live sex chat. Don't touch those numbers. <laughs> yeah, you got trimmed up. It looks like Ned Kelly, Steve <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Mets RC, I haven't, I haven't touched it, mate. I just started it up yesterday, and uh, the weather's shocking here. I can't get out there. It's just a, it's like an oven, too hot. Yeah, Tank hasn't mentioned it. Again, right? Tank hasn't mentioned anything about it yet, but I will do an impersonation of him later. <laughs> oh, Frank, <laughs> I always do, imper I always do impersonations of him. He doesn't <laughs> mind. He don't, he don't crack up about it. Of you, me, Father no, Christmas, don't. Father Christmas. No, you don't. Yeah, I've got it sorted, Steve. Oh, uh, they're pretty, mate. They're pretty. Uh, they're pretty cool. I, to, I it took me a while to work it out uh, where to how to actually put it in the port. And I spoke to Kagan yesterday, and uh, yeah, I've got it all sorted. But they yeah, they're pretty awesome, mate. Cool. <laughs> Dan Charon saying, all right, who got a new toy? Anybody got a new toy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. show new, it's Frank's going to show things are going to be a new toy. If you like. We are going to show some new toys that are out or coming out. <laughs> yeah. I'm still repairing some of my toys. <laughs> You're still repairing? Well, why yeah. did you take it to the first buy a spot? Did you were too hey, rough on it? Hey, hey Chris, you should yes. say, re, 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 you're, you're repairing your small real cars. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> so what are you What's on your bench? Uh, my SCX 10 too. Ah, uh, see, gotta, uh, gotta oh. redo my front axle. Oh. Bell and gear warped out on me, along with the uh, out shaft pinion gear and my uh, slipper pads have all gone south on me. <laughs> so, do you get carbon you? fiber? Do you get carbon fiber for those pads? Uh, no, I'm just going back with the stock ones. 
carbon ones would be good, cool too, if just plain carbon ones like they do on actual cars. So, yeah, that would work real good for for the slippers. And it would take forever to wear out. Yeah. <laughs> well, hey, I got two years off of these, so that's pretty good. I had wipers that lasted three years. They were from uh, Bosch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm being serious. I had some three-year-old Bosch blades. I got them when I had my Volkswagen. Like it, 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 uh, they lasted three years, and they were. They, I got my money's worth out of them. I was, about to say, I was like, I don't think Bosch makes RC parts, but okay. No, no, I'm not talking about. I'm talking about the car I drove back at that time. Yeah. It, they lasted three years. Hmm. They were worth their money. Yeah. So Jack got a TRX-6. How come you kept that a secret? You did pu publish a video 20 hours ago about that. Cool. Well, and, and like I sure. said, you didn't get notifications. I saw you commenting on a video yesterday, but you didn't come onto my live. Where were you? No, on, on that one, I didn't I didn't comment on that one. I did not get a notification on that one, you but I, well, I ring, did well, get ring an email. The, well, well, ring the bell then. <laughs> yes, true. I got to ring the bell. <laughs> it's it's, it's so, actually... So, Brad, 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 I'm talking. Just calm down, Brad. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Uh, like you say, you don't ring the bells. Maybe you'll yes. get a notification, eh? Okay. He needs to. He needs to double ring the bell to get that other little icon going on. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. -o. Yeah, I didn't ask for it, as people know, of course. You would have saw it in the uh, uh, Steve. -o. You didn't watch Steve O's live last week, Tank. Uh, no, I actually got, was busy with my wife again. Okay. I'm busy lately with my wife and work, you know? <laughs> yep. Okay. Yep. So yeah, the one I, you I, got I, I... is the, which one? The white one? Yeah, I got the white one. Thanks, Harvey. Yeah, you're a champion, brother. So there's, uh, Jack's channel and, uh, I got to hit the bell. I got to hit it twice. So none well, you're the one. You're, you're, you're the one that says, uh, well, I, I was on ring the bell to anyone. What's the matter it, with you? Why wouldn't you ring the bell? Can I get notifications? Well, it was on all, but I should get notification because I'm subscribed to you. And I do get some notification from everybody when I'm subscribed, but like, the bell is actually rang on yours. Maybe I should. Oh, really? Well, so you just rang it before you went into my channel. No, 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 no. <laughs> Don't do that. Come on, man. Well, how many times you've been busted? <laughs> come on, now. don't do that. Hey, oh, Jack, you on, know, man. you know they call that color Arctic White because there's metallic in it. There's metallic in it. Yeah, if you look closely. I was trying to work out what what the white was. Uh, it's, um, it's called it's called Arctic White, and I think that's the real name for it in in Mercedes. Unbelievable! You went and clicked the bell before you put my channel up at. <laughs> No, 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 no! I wouldn't do that. Man. Would do that. Oh, come on! How many times have I busted you? <laughs> hey, Tony! Thanks for coming back. Yeah, boy, man. That's not Tony. Hey. That's Crew Crew RC. Yeah, no, there's yeah. Tony's in the Tony. bottom there. Okay. Hey, Jake. Yeah, come on, man! You ring the bell, you get notifications. Correct. You came out in your live one day and says, "Oh, I don't ring the bell for anybody." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I subscribe, but I don't ring the bell for anybody. That's correct. Why is that? Because I don't is have it... time to watch everybody. If I rang everybody's bell, I would still get bothered and bothered so, and bothered. So you, 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 I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go on about this, but you know, I stir you up. But what I know is, is you sort of like comment on guys that are close to you. Is that right? When I see a thumbnail that I'm interested I in, saw I you have the other time. Day, I saw when you the I, other day. What are your mates? You can I speak? For, can I speak? Me, you are <laughs> asking me a question. Come down there, you're Jack. Not letting me talk. <laughs> no, no, no. You you're, are asking, asking for something. <laughs> and not permitting me to talk. As soon as I talk, you're cutting me off. Yeah, I'm can doing I, a bread. I'm doing an impersonation. I'm an impersonator, mate. I'm doing a bread. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So... If I rang everybody's bell, I would be uh, notified all the time on everybody's video. I am subscribed. I do see the thumbnails pass. When I have time, I will look at some of the videos. But there's no way I can look at everybody's video. 
I have to make a joke about ringing people's bells. I think you're hit, you're hurting us or hitting us in the face. <laughs> okay. Ringing people's bells. I'm joking, Frank. People's you know bells. that. <laughs> cool. I'm so, like you guys so saw, and uh, Tony yeah. was talking uh, a lot about this on RC Conspiracy this week on Facebook, uh, and I posted a bunch of links also on my uh, the Tank RC Facebook page. Tanya came out with some new stuff and pretty interesting stuff. Uh, if I say so myself, I, I found them very interesting, actually. So uh, let's go there and show you guys. Share. So, oh, yeah. Okay, we're like done, we're done with like this been, page. Seems like you've been a busy man, huh? <laughs> we're done with this page. Uh. So have a look at these. So this is the Tank RC on Facebook. That's my page. That's my channel. <clears throat> that's a nice little kit that they're coming out with with the, this dump truck, the Volvo dump truck, uh, and that's the same chassis as the Kong head, as far as I can tell. Okay. Yeah, yeah, G six hundred one chassis. Yeah. So that's going to be cool uh, to actually see. It would have been better and more realistic if it did bend at the front, just like the real uh, Volvo does. But this is still going to be fun. It's going to be a fun truck. Looks like they're coming back out with this one. Yeah, I saw that. So that's going to be a nice little uh, Ford Mustang. Mind you, it's not the most favorite Mustang, but still, it's a nice right. I like the this Cobra one. Cobra R was a good Mustang at that. That's the best of the Fox bodies. Okay. Just the shape of that year. <clears throat> now, the Gazoo is coming out with a remake. It's the same body, but a different sticker set. And uh, the 2000, this is a 2019 model. The one I have here is a 2018. The 2019 comes with two stickers, which is the 2018 stickers and the 2019 stickers. So it will have two of them. So that's nice. Cool that they made a different sticker set for a different body. So people have a choice to make it. This one, I don't know too much about one. That's the SW01. Um, I'm not too sure about this chassis it, it looks right. like the comical right. is that Actually, their small that is... ones like the little yeah. uh, the mini um yes yeah. it is it is it is yeah. if it's the sw01 it's a 24 124 scale truck it's like that lunchbox they came out with the tiny one yes yeah this is a different variation on it the chassis does look slightly different to me though so it looks like they came out with some new bodies for this one it's a looks like a little fun truck to go uh and they have the rally tires on it yeah, now they also have this Suzuki's here. Nice Suzuki Swift Sport. That's the brand new body style. Yeah, and chassis is probably an MO3 or an MO6. Don't know. Might be an MO5. And, and, and actually, the odd numbers are the front wheel drive ones. The odd evens are rear. Thank you for the info. Here's a Mercedes Benz. That one's a nice one, also. So they're coming out with a bunch of them, and it looks like they're going to come out again with the Terra Scorcher. They're all coming back out with this one. That's now been there's... asked for. Yeah. There it is, the Avante Comical, or Comical Avante. Got totally <laughs> different tires on it, too. Yeah. So this should be a fun little buggy to play with and have fun. That's interesting. And here's this one uh, again, the mud, uh, mud mad they call it. It's mad for fun. Everything looks cramped up, which is okay, but it's a small little form factor. It should be a lot of fun. Tony's probably gonna get that, eh, Tony? You like the small little chassis? No, no I don't. It wasn't <laughs> until the uh, SCX24 that I actually liked one. Okay. Uh, here's another one. Well, the Mini Z I do like. Here's a Renault. Renault 5 Turbo. I'm, I'm not too keen on this one, me. It's it's too square and it's too, I don't know. It's not my style for this one anyway, that's for sure. It's based on an actual race car too back then. Oh, yeah? Oh, this is the one I like. This one is <laughs> a nice one. It almost looks like Jack's car. Yeah, it does with the round, but not quite. 
this it's a the Carmen Jack, Mia. Jack's car, the effigy is even nicer than this. But yeah, yeah, I like the color of that though. Yeah, the color looks nice. And that is a small chassis. That's probably a, an MO, um, MO6 or an MO5. It would be an MO6 or no, it'd be an MO6. It'd be rear wheel drive. It's full. Yeah, it is MO6. It's written right here. It's ri It was based on that. That is the Beetle in sports car mode. Okay. See a lot of Gem City. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Jack, for taking care of the chat. I see you typing in the chat and talking to people. That's awesome. Uh, Toyota yeah, Supra. Well, someone's gonna do it. Yeah. Yeah, that was bad right there when I saw that. I was like, whoa. Yeah. The AD. <laughs> it, it looks like it has a little bit of downforce. It looks like they also put some uh, uh, those things that they put on the front of the ends of the cars. I I, I always have time, hard time remembering what it's called. Now they do have this that it dumps, but I don't think it actually dumps by itself because these are probably fake. Uh, yeah. It does have something here, but it's written not included. What do you think that servo's for right there? Is that for steering on the side, or do you think that's operating the lift? It's probably the servo for steering, but it's written not included here. Just like the ESC is not included, what's red? Not nope. Included. They only include a motor, probably. Yeah. So this Volvo looks very interesting. I'd love to have that just sitting on, on my trails, just like on my skill trails and have that yeah. same with my Oncas at the back. It would be nice. So Now here's the Capri. So it's similar to my uh, Capri that I have, but different paint job. Kind of happy that they're coming back out with it. That's going to be cool. That was a popular chassis back then. Yeah. They're coming out with this. This is a cool picture because, like, I like that they took the picture and it's actually written "no photograph, no photography allowed." So it's kind of cool. I like that there. Uh, they did Just come out with a new truck, it. new paint job, new stickers. Was that Tony? <laughs> I said I like it the way that looks. I love the yeah, "no photography" up. sign right next. Oh, to Oh, that's it. the Mercedes. Yeah, Mercedes. That's a new Mercedes a body for that. Yeah, they didn't have a Mercedes body before. That's a Mercedes body. And there's a Volvo truck again. I, I like what looks like. It's got there. two thousand stickers to put on it. That's pretty cool. Yeah, oh, love that. Which yeah, one? This one? one? Yeah. Yeah. The, the Steve I, when he built that truck, he had how many stickers did he have on it? Now, yeah, yeah. Oh, I like that. This is to me a gem. Like this uh, eight by four is crazy. They even got a bunch of videos on it uh, actually working and towing another truck. Nice. So that is a brand new, completely brand new chassis for them. Yeah. Yeah. 114 scale RC tra uh, tractor truck series, 8x4. And what's nice with it is you do have four wheel steering in the front. So that's kind of cool. And it has metal, the metal uh, lift. Metal, yeah, I swear that's a metal, metal here at the back. This thing's gonna weigh a ton and it's gonna be like really cool to have, but uh, yeah, there is a It'll sticker there. there somewhere. It actually it's written that it's a prototype, so I'm not sure we're gonna see it this year, but pretty soon we're gonna see that on the shelf. So that's gonna be cool. That's gonna be their most expensive vehicle, you know. And I tell I bet you that's a two thousand uh, dollar kit. Uh, should be close to that, yeah. There's another one that came out with is the, uh, and I don't have it here, and I don't think I posted the picture of it, but it's actually a um, TTO2 um, SR, I think it is. It's the race, and you, there's a lot of adjustment on the on the links, on the tie rods. There's also the dude that they just brought back the GT, uh, GT1 Forge. I forgot to show that one. Okay. Now, I posted this because it was a couple more pictures, but it showed more the model number of it. So that was kind of cool. Uh, I think it might be in this one. More photos. Let's go through those real quick. Anything interesting in the chat, Jack? No, I don't want to just talk on the bed from scale stuff. Is that uh, a scale? Steve, I, Steve I is going to build that uh, wrecker. Oh, Steve was going to build the wrecker? Cool. Yeah. <laughs> so here's a close-up view of the lift at the back. 
which is really neat. Lots of work on this. And they do have two spools here. So I don't know if they're working, but they are for to pull things up. So that's kind of interesting how they have these nylon cords going in here. So uh, Paul says, what about the mini Z crawlers? We'll get there. We'll get there. Hold on. Let me finish <laughs> <that> first. <laughs> we'll talk about it. So All here's right. the actuator again. <clears throat> Gonna have a major harness. Oh, yeah. So here's the front of it. That looks nice and sexy. <laughs> looks like an Autobot. <laughs> yeah. So it, this one does not have the other picture I was looking for. Did you notice it had a, 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 a it showed a picture of a ball bearing in one of the lift parts. Now, Mini Z 4x4 Runner, all wheel drive, Kyosho. So, those are crawlers. This is for Tony. Tony will buy one of these. <laughs> they look awesome. Wow, they, wow, they look wow, really well. Wow, in, uh, <laughs> especially when you up. really look at this video and uh, uh, the attention of details they put to mm -hmm. uh, to build this and the way they've done the gears and the axles. The tires. I the tires are very realistic. Uh, Where about you? Now, this truck, I would buy this one before the axial one, I think. Just so, Tony, are you going to get Tony, you to get one of those? Potentially. The it looks like they'll the crawl details well. On these bodies is just crazy. And that's basically a hard body also. Kyosho, every time they make a mini Z body, it's all a hard body and very scale details. No body posts. They clip on. Yeah. Look at look, hey Tony. Look at those tires. Look how realistic they are. So that's. I like the blue silver one, or is that a blue silver one or gray silver blue? It's a gray silver. Yeah. The red. I don't go nice doing anything technical. But. Yeah. The it red looks one like looks better on video. Yeah, I agree with the red on video. Working lights. Yep. <clears throat> yep. So that's really cool. I'm not going to show the whole video. I might get in trouble. Mind you, I didn't put the audio. Uh, Are the windows tinted or stickers? So on the Mini Z official uh, Facebook page, they showed the. Uh, the undercarriage of it and the way the bearings are so it's it's pretty well made it's, it's very interesting i think they're tinted uh green fog they usually yeah right there you can see through it it's tinted plastic tinted uh, yeah. uh window yeah, windows. plastic so 110 hobbies he had a, a person there a rep uh, over there and he took some personal pictures uh so these pictures were not on uh the kyosho site they were on the 110 site Oh, they, uh, hey, uh, hey, Tony, they also have a, the new Jimny model in that crawler sector. sector. Yeah. yeah, you see it yeah. in the back here, the Jimny. So here's a Kyosho. Jimny, the Jimny has different tires, too. Like, I was wondering at the beginning, like, why use so big screws? Like, these screws are big, so it kind of makes, throws you it off of the scale. But... It's just to make it stronger and tougher, I figure. I would assume it makes it heavier, too, for crawling. Yep. Easier to work on, also. Swampers yeah. RC, stop, stop saying to people what we're going to show next. We will show the Chevy, uh, the Chevy C10. We will show it. Just uh, <laughs> hold on. It looks good, too. Yeah. But I'm guessing this is going to be $200 plus dollars. Uh, it's going to be in the two, yeah. Probably going to be in the 200 uh, <clears throat> higher. Yeah. Yeah. 250, 230, somewhere. You think they're going to be the most expensive mini Zs? No. Oh, yeah. Is, uh, I Nobody don't think so. Well, no, not, not, not. It'll be more expensive than most of the, um, your mini. base model uh, mini Z for racing. They, they, they're, they they're about one, they're 129 to 200 bucks typically. But my guess is this is over that by a little bit. This seems Ed, to have a whole lot more going on. 
Hey, Tony, they also have new front-wheel drive chassis and new rear-wheel drive chassis for them, too, for the Mini Zs. Mm -hmm. I like that they have all types of, uh, you know, four-wheel, front-wheel, rear-wheel drives in those. Oh, Ma uh, Mass bad. Master asks, what, what's the scale of that wrecker? One, uh, one, one fourteen. One fourteen. How, how big is, actually big is it? Well, it's the same size as that truck nearly, isn't it? Yes, that's correct. It's, what, yeah. it's one fourteen scale Mass Masters. So they're saying it's one ninety nine on RPP Hobbies. One ninety nine for what? For the truck? US. Mini -Z. Yeah. Oh, the Mini Z. Oh, the Mini Z. That's yeah, the Mini Z. That's, that's not bad at all. Yeah. So that's a pretty decent looking truck. And then there's uh, this video, which they have their uh, the CCO2. CCO2 has been out earlier this year, but it, it looks like a nice little truck. I have it here. I just have to start building it. But I have other projects to finish first. The guy doesn't know how to drive oh, within the lines. Fine. He's not driving within the lines. Hey, Jack, you could get a CCO2 or get someone to help you with that and get it in the white color just like your TRS6. <laughs> I've, I've got a CCO1, mate. Yeah. Yeah. You you need to. If, uh, they do have a Mercedes in the XFO ones too in the Cabro. Some people were bitching about this um, the batteries in here, but this is how the Mini Z is. Like it's double A's or triple A's. Uh, this one or, looks, there's two double A's here. Or you could get the the rechargeable lipos that size. Yeah. So hmm. that's been kind of interesting the way they do it. And it comes with the Kyosho remote, no spectrum. Hey Tony, you like the you like the Jimny model too? Yeah, Jimny's at the back. It's all right. I'm not a huge Jimny fan. I know some people are big on it. But, you yeah. like the Forerunner, don't you? Yeah. I mean, I like the Jimny too, but I would probably do the Forerunner. So I here's the Jimny, price. I'm not yeah. seeing the price anywhere. Somebody said it was 200 on RPP, but I'm not seeing that euros 269 euros here yeah i'm seeing here 249 euro 249.9 for the mini z toyota 400 Ouch. so that's going to make it about 300 bucks mm. oh, so 224 right. that was a good color higher end of the mini z market that's a nice picture yeah Even i like with the color. wheel bases on that and the Chimney, they're the same. They look, uh, no, I have a feeling that to the forwarder is a longer wheelbase because the, the chimney is smaller. Right. Mm. The chimney has different tires, too. I, I like the look of the chimney, especially with the tires. It looks more scale than the than, than this one. Than the forerunner. Yeah. Pascal did a video when, with that. Yesterday. When I look at this, this one looks more scale than yeah. this one. This one, the tires are way too big for the scale, but still a very nice truck. It just looks like somebody around here owns it. <laughs> yeah. Little boys with something to prove. Axle <laughs> Racing. They're showing off their portals, the Curie F9 portal axles and the gears. That's old news, but this is the new news, which uh, talks about the uh, all metal gear transmission for the new uh, SMT10. Did you blow yours yet, uh, Tony? I just got my builder's kit in the mail today. Okay, cool. The package was destroyed when it came here. I mean, it looks like it looks like <laughs> rats had chewed a whole side out of it. They oh. taped it over, and like all the uh, inflated packaging was still like kind of in there. Let me see. I'll try and see if it'll show on my camera here. I took a picture of it. It was, it was. You got insane. the metal gear. You got the metal gear. Uh, they all come with metal gears now. This one is talking about a slipper system that I don't know if it's 
in the uh, the other one as well. Or no, wow, so it's, it's, it's an all new slipper gear Metal Gear system. The, this <laughs> transmission comes with the raw builder's kit, which yeah, is the transmission <laughs> and slipper clock. John Tony, yeah, I can turn down my brightness. Yeah. Can't see it. Okay. Good Lord. It's wow. from Banggood. <laughs> it's from Banggood. Like, all the packing stuff is in there still somehow. I mean, the box is way That's small, shocking, and the box is in, in perfect condition inside there. That's but um, I was like, what did they do? It's like, it, it, it's, it, it looks like a Banggood job. <laughs> <laughs> All my mango stuff has been pretty good. Oh, uh, a lot of people have problems with those. Uh, the I think that was prep. a FedEx thing. Horizon that... would have never let it out of the shop looking like that. Although they could have been like, dude, this guy again. <laughs> <laughs> Tired of boxing stuff up for this guy. Yeah, well, the name's appropriate. It's been banged. Good. Yeah. <laughs> banged, banged up good. Is... Been banged, mate. Good. <laughs> SCX24 has a new body. Oh, sweet. The 1967 Chevrolet C10. Which I always, that, that front end is just barely different than the 72. Now, this does look nice. The, the way the, wheel, <laughs> the wheels are perfect size for the wheel wells and all that. That to me is is looks looks pretty good. I like that color, but everybody likes the green. Yeah, the green greens look look more looks more vintage, looks more perfect for that era. Everything's better in green and Mexico. It's kind of like their little axial <laughs> truck and logo green. too. It's kind of cool looking on it. Look, you got waterfall. Tiny. Yeah, yeah these gray cool colors open. just they don't stand out at all, especially on rocks. Yeah. If you're making videos, yeah, I kind of the actual logo on that. It looks kind of cool. Yeah. I wish that they would have just done Velcro though for the top. Yeah, true. <clears throat> that's such a small truck. They could have got away with Velcro. I did, oh, did it you? on uh, my deadbolt because hey, my son Tony? lost a little cl the clip. <laughs> you did see the fifty something model too, didn't you? When you look at it from the side here, it looks like the cab is a little too small for the truck. Yeah. Yeah, it does. But that's be, yeah. me being finicky. But when you look at it driving or running around, you don't notice it a lot. But hey, Frank, show, show them the 50s, 50s model for it. Oh, what's this? That's oh, look at the one-tenth above it. That looks sweet. Yeah. So that looks like there's a light bar on the one, the one twenty fourth, in the yeah the gray one. Ah. And the gray. Ah, look at that gray and black uh, fascia. I See like that looks cool. The gray and black cool. fascia. <clears throat> they say it's silver, but it looks dark silver. Hmm. Like a charcoal. I like the front end on that one a lot better. What the, the, the gray one? Yeah, I like the front end of it. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, I think it looks mean, meaner. Yeah. Hmm, depends on the small light, though. Oh. Yeah, that's a perfect spot right there. Right on top of that, you put a little piece of Velcro right on that ESC receiver, and it mounts right down to it. The body does. So it's perfect. So it's uh, all in set up. ESC and receiver. Yeah, and it's got look at how many ports it has on it for LEDs and everything. There's so mm -hmm. many. It, so the whole car, the whole car costs how much? 120 bucks, 110 bucks, and it comes with uh, an ESC that has all those settings. If you were to just buy a Spectrum ESC with that many <laughs> ports yeah. on it, you're almost spending 80 bucks. And that's what a 1500 uh, not lipo. The battery, uh, I'm not sure. Little 2S. 2S, 35, uh, 350 milliamp. 350 milliamp. It's some reaction. Yeah. I thought reaction's a decent battery brand. 
small. It's a small truck. It's just dynamite reaction, right? And plus, it's a small truck. You don't need to put a 5,000 milliamp in there. So how long do you think it'll last with that battery? How long does yours last, uh, Tony? About 15 to 20 minutes. About typical. Maybe mm -hmm. longer. I get about 20 well, minutes. That's going minute. full speed. Yeah, that's going full speed with the boys chasing each other around. Like, we literally, we play tag with them more than we crawl with them. <laughs> so, like... It's trail you literally anymore. are just trying to crash into each other. Yeah, you got one. Yeah. They're awesome. They're fun little trucks. That's an interesting looking uh, radio. The worm drive gearing works awesome too. Okay. It almost looks like it could be considered a, 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 a portal axles just on the on the axle it's, uh, top of the axle itself. And that's a small mortar on this. Holy jeez. Was it a one eighty? 88. 180 more. I don't know the size of it. 88 turn. <laughs> they call it a 1217 it, it, more. 88 they turn. go pretty quick, though, I would say. I mean, uh, it's faster than you think it would be. Uh, it, you know what? It looks like a big slot car motor. Well, Todd, another 124s. Hey Sean. Hey, Sean. hey, Sean. What's up, guys? Hey, Sean. Yeah, it's their new uh, Chevy uh, 67 Chevy truck. Hey, mm -hmm. hey, Sean. Sean, did you see all the new Tamaya stuff? Like the new. Record? I didn't. I, I missed it. For some reason, the stream is just. Bleh, that's all my phone's doing with the stream. Oh, uh, like. Just oh, really? Yeah, so. I can't think you got of it. Yours is just pinwheeling, right? Is it a black spinning circle? Yeah, yeah. That's all my phone is doing. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. on my phone doing a black spinning circle. The, the, chat, so did you see the chat is there. Look. Yeah. Do, do, do you my see the uh, circle too? Hey, uh, do you like the uh, Mini Z? Uh, uh, Sean, you like the new Mini Z crawlers? Nope, not one bit. I do not see the whole rigmarole with these 124s. Oh, yeah. It is. Yeah, I don't. What about the what about the 114 scale Tamaya truck? I didn't get to see it yet, but I but what I seen from Tank's thumbnail, it looks freaking awesome. Oh yeah, it's it's really neat. It's really good. Uh, Where did so you get that? Easy again. That's on the Kyosho dot uh, com website. Uh, they do talk about it. They talk about the Jimny again. And they do talk about the uh, 20th anniversary, 1999 to 2020, uh, Kyosho, uh, Mini Z. I like that cake right now. <laughs> look, there's a new front wheel drive models. That look, it could be the FW 06s. Yeah. So. Even though some of those bodies shouldn't be front wheel drive. The Fraser MK2 body, which they do a lot of their chassis with it and like. The the uh, Mad Van. Uh, <laughs> this is the road version of it, and they're, they're coming out with a new Camaro. Uh, this is an old yeah, body. Sixty nine. That, is... that one's out already, right? Yeah, it's yeah. yeah, it's out already. They have that at our hobby shop. I almost yeah. picked it up. Here's the Mad Van. Did you see the video Shin done with a Mad Van with a he put drift wheels? Drift. On yeah, yeah, the drift wheels. <laughs> drift nine. Like... Look at the Psycho Cruiser two point oh. That's such a funny name, Psycho Cruiser. Yep. I, I would bust off that little turbo thing <laughs> the, the, in my supercharger. The, the, the like supercharger intake. Yeah, just <laughs> imagine when you flip it and it actually digs into the dirt. Like this, this is gonna pop off or break it, off. It's, it, it's not even part of the body. If you open it up, it's actually attached inside to something. So it's literally wow. It will break off. So I what think, do you think of it? Maybe it won't. What, I like that new buggy, that buggy, the 3.0. So RC McMaster is saying, I'm into nitro cars, but Ken Block is making me change my mind. Have anyone else seen Extreme E electric race car? Yes. The, uh, I saw the thumbnail real quick. I didn't see the video, but it looks very interesting. Yeah, he also played with a radio control car in one of them, too. I haven't seen it. Yeah, like but, he, uh, he was mentioning instant torque, like electric car are fun because it's instant. <clears throat> torque. Yeah, yep. those right there. I just looked at. Okay. And they're like two fifty, 
I think. Not bad. But can you open it up? It looks it looks like a toy. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah but I thought you can it was modify garbage it when I looked at it. But you can modify it, Tony. You know that. Well, when I look at the front shocks, it do more look like toyish. Well, we'll have a look at it. Look I showed you these. I showed you those in the hobby shop, the Monster Trekker. Yeah. That time. Oh, and the Inferno. The only the only the only ESD they use the layout they the use the interior. All of it looks inferior to what you can get they're for cheap. 250 bucks for a two wheel yeah. drive truck. Yeah. yeah, they're cheap here. You think the body's all right, uh, Tony? Oh, it's ugly. It's ugly. Oh, look. There is a there is a green one, a green colored one, which is probably good. But yeah, you have to oh, your battery gets slot loaded from the bottom of it. It's the just bottom of it, yeah. it's everything that you wouldn't want in an RC car in 2020. Yeah. They've stuck yeah. in here. It looks like a friggin' new bright. Mm -hmm. yeah, it does. It's not. That's not, <laughs> not a new RC though, Tony. Oh, you had that. You, you said you had. I showed this RC last, last year. Yeah, yeah I saw that last year. Too. I think I'd rather get a two wheel drive stampede. To be honest. Yep. The only thing oh, you would be, the only thing you would be buying that thing for is the wheels. That's it. The yeah. rest <laughs> you just dump. How long was that? The Monterey chassis on uh, Tamiya's vehicles. The bottom, the bottom, well, the 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 van is less money and it's four wheel drive. Wow. And it's yeah, laid and out the, way the better. Monterey's four wheel drive. Anyway, I just saw it. I, I was in the house. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. Like, really? <laughs> this this yeah. is being sold these days? So, and the, the price is this high? So John, I just got the ECX amp that was right next to it for 130 bucks instead. Yeah, mm -hmm. so John from that cruiser's asking two-way to drive. Oh, yes, man, that that was you are right. Yes. That fire truck is ugly. The Bald Gear RC said just ordered a Mini Z, one ninety nine free shipping. Where did he get it for one ninety nine? Bald Gear, where'd you get it for one ninety nine? Leave a comment. No. So let's find that truck. Look, to show. Did you see the size of that when the guy was holding that in his hand? That's ridiculous. So no. you like this? Sean likes this truck. truck. <laughs> yeah, that thing is sweet, man. And it has metal parts in it. The record part is metal. You should see it beside the new one. I'll show you the video. In, in, uh, I'll actually show you right now. Um, video is really, or is it on the bottom? Sean, I'm sure that record is going to be the most expensive Tamiya out there. Yeah. Did you give any prices on it yet or no? no. Or? I bet you it's about $2,000. Easy. Yeah, there's a lot of guys build them. Like, I want to build, I want to take a TRX-6 and make one out of a TRX-6. But you watch it here at the beginning, it actually lifts the truck off the ground. Now, they probably took the dry shaft off of this truck because the wheels are actually connected to the motor. So they, yeah. weren't, they wouldn't be freewheeling. But the, the difference of size, because this is the same size as mine. I got this one with the two wheels at the back and one wheel in the front. They're both 14 scale. Yeah. Yeah. So, the rackers are because they've been building, people have been building their own rackers for years. So I'm surprised, yeah. that, I'm surprised it took Tamaya this long to actually come out with one. You, you know what, Sean? That's a completely new chassis that they made there. Probably. Yeah. Because it got four wheel steering up front. Yeah. Well, it's a whole new everything by the look of it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And and the rack the record parts metals can't you see the shine in it you can tell it's metal. Pretty sweet though. Oh, I'm liking my 16 gig upload and download. It's nice and fast now. No, it's not. It's a fast, but it's. It's, it's, how did, faster how did you come it's, <laughs> it's faster than before, Jack. I couldn't do this before. I couldn't uh, show it. But it was just. It was just. I don't worry. Is that at the <laughs> send their some new oh, So Tank, was that at the German toy show? Yes. Is that where that was? Well, yes. that's where they, that's where all the good scales are over in, yeah, in Europe. See, I wonder if they're even they make some awesome I stuff. Even, yeah, I wonder if they'll hobby, even the hobby store here. It's a hobby it's it's written a hobby prototype thing. here. It's written prototype. So I'm not sure if it's gonna be out yet or this year, but maybe next year it will. Yeah. I bet you it comes out this summer. 
Yeah, but yeah. it might it might take a long time to get here though, because the, the reason they probably released it in Germany is Europe is huge for this stuff. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, they have yeah, the they shows are. and stuff. Massive all custom stuff, stuff man. Like, they this have really metal. good hobby shows. They don't have uh, cheap RCs season the uh, shows no, there. They're they're all, it's ever, very, exp yeah. very expensive, mate. Yeah, did you ever look at that scaled art? You go on scaled art website, okay. and some some of their stuff is crazy money. No. Yeah, I uh, some of that I know that lift part is metal. I know this part, the front of it, mm. is metal for sure. See the ball bearing down there, below the spools. Mm. I'm surprised they actually showed that much of it. Like you know, give away mm. a few secrets there. Like so, I'm they've done that. Look at that! It even has the sound thing in it. Yeah, I saw that too. Here, they have the sound module. Yep. Yeah, that's gonna be like twenty one, twenty two hundred dollars because with the yeah, sound, be all, sound system, the sound module will be all upgrade parts, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Something can add on. Like that. See, Rio written prototype model. Yeah. Pretty sweet looking though. Yeah. Yeah. Sean will build it if he could get his hands on it, right, Sean? Yeah. Yeah. Be fun to take that thing out on the trails. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, take trails. <laughs> That's why I, yeah. I want to do like a Traxxas six by six one and take, rip the back off it and do like two Tonka rackers, put two Tonka rackers on the back of it. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought about hey, doing the same thing across. Yeah, hey, hey, that, at hey, least that at least that way it's big enough for the one ten vehicles, like you know. Yeah. Hey, hey, Chris, hey, hey Chris, if you wanted to take that out on the trails, you'd have to make it eight wheel drive. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. And I, I and I'm sure you could find pieces to make that work that way too. Maybe. Yeah, so I'm sure I'm sure that's going to be for the European market for the long. Oh, yeah, definitely season. for sure. Yeah. Oh, he's going to come here. I bet she comes here. Frank Trottis, Frank Trottis is saying we need a metal 3D printer to make custom parts. Wonder when that's coming. Yeah, that's what that's what that's what water jets are for. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they have them as shapeways, the metal 3D printers. Yeah, I just saw that he had a part that was metal that he had made by them. Yeah. You almost call that a CNC machine. Yeah, yes. Them like, so. them CNC machines. I was looking at a little mini one. Okay. The price of them is crazy, man. Yeah. It's like insane. Hey, Paul Taylor is uh, in the chat. Hey, how you doing, Paul? I hope you're feeling better. Uh, last week he was in the hospital. His heart was racing like 100 miles an hour. So he's doing Ooh. a little bit better. He's Sorry doing... to hear that. Sounds like something my mom has. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, I've heard, it's some type of electrical problem with the heart. Let's it up. Mm. Yeah, so how did you come across that one time? You were just checking out the Nuremberg the show, was it? Yeah, it was on the Tamiya because I'm registered on the uh, Tamiko um, in Tamiya. So I receive, um, uh, it's like ringing a bell on, uh, on YouTube, but me, it's a bell on Facebook. So as soon as they post some new stuff, I, I get it. So yeah. I, I, hey Sean. Yeah. Yes. Hey bro. Sean, they have a 14 scale. You know how they had those race trucks and the uh, 14 scale for European races? They have a new one out with a totally different body on it. It's a Mercedes with a totally new decal yeah. sheet. You must be in, you must be in heaven tonight, Brad. The whole song yeah. was, <laughs> whole song hey. was to me. Must be hey, hey, uh, hey, Sean. Sean, you yeah. were you were in heaven when you saw that wrecker. So, <laughs> yeah. well, that's not the first time I've seen. Like, I, I, if you can pull up Scale Art there for a minute, tank is the name of the website. Scale Art. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Some of their the <clears throat> thing is like insane. For the money off them, I don't know how people can afford them. Like. No, I should, Tiny. Uh, scale art. Uh, is it E G E or something? Or I got scale art uh, Molle Debo shop. 
Yeah, try, yeah, try that one. Oh, I've watched that. No, this is a this is a shop, Brad. This is not <clears throat> YouTube town. It's an actual shop. But some of oh. their some of their rackers and stuff is insane. Like the money for oh, some. I'm sure. I'm sure they're all metal. That's why. Gerlard shop. This guy. No. Um. Hold on. Let me pull it up. My. I'll give you the. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, and I bet you they're five thousand, six thousand dollars. Yeah, I think that is it because he does um, German and American. Believe it or not, a lot of these guys speak English. They speak pretty good. So you should have, uh, so you should have a, a thing on construction equipment and everything, like too. Construction vehicles. Yeah, construction vehicles and stuff. There's kits, cabs. So you can order cabs and parts from them, I guess? Yeah. Let me get the right scale art one. Hold on. More about cabs. That's a beautiful truck. Yeah, that actually does look nice, this cab. It's the Gigaspace. It looks like a, 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 a newer model of the Gigaspace Mercedes. Right. Ben's Arco's 2 Gigaspace kit. Yeah, and the, the the front of it's different than the ones that the Tamai have been making with the with the Mercedes. When I was in um, Scotland, they had the Tamias that were pre built. Those things okay. were expensive, but they oh, looked yeah, because like, it, like mint. They were so nice looking. Oh, by the way, Tony, you, you saw the Patera Scorchers back. People have been calling for that. Yeah, I I don't, I don't know what the Terra Scorcher is, and I did not sure. know it back. <laughs> it's a four-wheel drive buggy. It's a four-wheel drive buggy, one of the classics. Okay. Good good to know. I'll put that one in. Yeah, so look at that. Like, if you check the price of that thing, even it's probably, like, three or four yeah, thousand. It's, not it's, as mu it's probably as much uh, as the Capos are. I see the small thumbnails of the truck with the loader arm, but when I click on it, it's not there. Yeah, because they, they have a lot of trucks. Like, if you look at that truck, see with the two front wheels and the four, that's sort of the same as what Tamaya just done. Okay. There's a lot of the double front axles and then the double back axles. Like, see These things are amazing looking. Yeah. They're all metal, I can tell. Hmm. The price off them though is the price of them is ridiculous. I don't know how people afford them because it's all in euros and they have excavators there at like twelve thousand, yeah, like twelve thousand euros. That's like thirteen, fourteen thousand dollars, like for an RC excavator. I, I saw a, I saw a full metal radio control uh, eight scale on line, eight scale uh, crane with lots of wheels on it. That thing's got to be six feet long. Hmm. An eight scale. And uh, I want to tell John uh, from Net Cruiser RC. Hey, John, see my new Traxxas banner? See that? <laughs> uh, Said he was jealous about your new bandwidth. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, he's also, John's not on the screens with us yet, which I he should be. <laughs> um, I actually got this from Orleans Hobby. So they're renovating and they're changing the size of the store and they're changing a bunch of stuff uh so he actually rolled up the banner and when i was there he says here here's a banner you can use when you have events at your place so time for time for a tank impersonation bang <laughs> i'll just hold this for five minutes my arms will probably break because it's so heavy back it up yeah i Get up a little bit check yeah yeah, that the ain't Arctic white. I can't. I can't. Uh, the thing is, just weighs a ton. Yeah. I need a stormtrooper driver for that. There. Uh, yeah. What's that? that what's storm that tiny? Trooper inside there driving it. Get a storm stormtrooper. Storm you reckon? Yeah. yeah stormtrooper be cool in there. Yeah, and I just like to. Uh, I just want to thank the people that went on my <laughs> life and uh, got jealous and hit me with a whole heap of dislikes. Thanks very much, guys. It's an yeah, Arctic white. Thanks for coming. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a pain in the butt for me to have to make all those accounts, but it was worth it. That's okay. <laughs> I don't mind that, it from you, Tony. I don't mind it at all, mate. Like I said, I didn't ask for it. 
It was dynated. Hey, hey, Jack, Jack, don't, don't forget it's called Arctic White. Okay, Brad, it's Arctic White. Uh, you've drummed <laughs> that into my head about 10 million times. Uh, uh, Jack, remember what Brad said? <laughs> Arctic White. Don't forget that. Just put it up, your hands will get, your hands will get uh, cold every time you pick it up. Jack. Oh, mate. You know, yeah. and the, uh, Arctic White, it just needs some snow. Yeah. I like it, man. The white it's one's... True, but the, the, lights one's... Are, the lights are awesome on this, though. I fired it up last night, and I had a bit of problem with the port. Uh, Kagan helped me, and as usual, the uh, usual Kagan's always helping, and uh, I fired it up, and the amber lights are really cool, and the rack lights are cool, and uh, I Did can't thank that? Steve-O and Denali enough for what happened. and uh, that, that thing's just a perfect size to make a racker. I'd have pulled it up this, there. And it. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's huge, mate. It's just, it weighs a ton. Yeah, I can't I believe the weight on this thing. It's just huge. You could Sorry, cut, tank. Yeah, you could cut the back of two Tonka trucks, two Tonka rackers. And I don't have the battery, Steve. I, I, I'm I stored my batteries away uh, last night. But uh, the only problem is when the, when the LEDs come on, you don't actually see the amber lights. Unless you film it to the side, sort of thing, and then you'll see them because the light, the, the white lights just take all take over. Hmm. But uh, I love, I'm loving, I'm loving these wheels though. These wheels are just, you know, with the with the red accents. Yeah, I'm just loving the wheels on these. You know, when I, especially with the white, you know, I know they got them on the black, but um, yeah, I just, I don't know. But yeah, like I said, Steve O D in the chat there, and uh, and uh, I don't know where Denali's Denali's in the background. But, uh, yeah, the only, the only thing they should have done to it though, see where your exhaust pipes come out. They should have put the exhaust pipes. They should have put the exhaust pipes back by the back wheel because they put them yeah, right. They, on, they, yeah, they look a bit right funny the way they are. Yeah, they are. They look a bit funny how they are. I mean, and uh, under that's the, the it, actual the muffler. Believe it or not. So believe it or not, you won't see. Yeah. It. No, yeah, I know, not. but the, the problem is they're right, on, they're right on the rock slider, Brad. That's the problem. Yeah, yeah. That's well, it, yeah. Real, they were back. A little yeah, bit. yeah. In that's real what, life, yeah, that correct. car had him there. In real life, the car had him. Yeah, but, had it there. but he's yeah. going to do stuff with that truck that we don't do in real life. So yeah, <laughs> <It's, it'll laughs> the real life I, has a million and hey, dollars. Top, I think. Now, one of the guys, Top Gear, ran it, and he ran it through the dunes and everything. Yeah, so I saw uh, Sion's video yesterday too, and geez, that guy, mate. I don't know, has he got a hundred thousand subscribers in four months? Can someone tell me? Who? Uh, oh, uh, what Sion, you? RC Playground. He's got. He's just hit over hundred and five subscribers. I reckon he buys that guy. He's hit a hundred and five thousand subscribers in four months. Wow. Oh, sorry, uh, the last time I saw what his subscribers were at. But now he's just hit over 105. Th- I think he's buying. Yeah. Must be nice he's, to have money. He's buying. He's buying. But he, no, he does some great shooting. He, his filming is great because he uses a yeah. gimbal, runs beside his. Mate- runs beside I always, his. I, I think Mateo does fantastic videos. Got that tank? You haven't oh, said yeah, a word yet. Since I've been holding that up, you haven't said not one word about that TRX6, my What do you reckon? No, I did say it looks nice, and congratulations, I did say that. But one thing yeah. I'd like to say is when yeah. you make a video of it, and I know yeah. it's going to be a slow-motion video, which is okay. They're very nice. Oh, no, uh, well, no, I can run this slow. Apparently, you can put this in cruise mode some on time. But yeah. do you, like, you need a really long intro before the video starts, though? Yeah. With but really make, good sure music. You put, make sure you put on the title that it's a white S, uh, TRX-6, okay? White TRX-6. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, 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 yeah white. It's not white, right? It's Arctic not white. white. What is it? What color is it, Jack? Art. Art. <laughs> mate, mate, uh, uh, it's like pushing. It's like pushing play for bread. And no white. Push play and it says Arctic white. <laughs> Snow white, right? Snow white. I don't know, mate. No, it's Arctic white. All so I know tank, is Arctic, like... Arctic white. That's what so, it is. Tank, I have a question for you. How come you have a track spanner above your head, but you have a a red cat? Like a red cat, um, kit there, like, yeah, is that work on last me? Yeah, I put my right. summit beside it instead. Maybe I should put my summit there. Yeah, if you, with big tracks as Bonnie, you probably should have a tracks as kit. 
And, and on this side, I have a Tamiya kit. Yeah. <laughs> you, still not, you still haven't built that thing yet, no? Nope. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy. How's your truck build coming along? I uh, haven't touched that. I, I haven't done much this week on anything. Um, but uh, I got to finish my uh, old uh, 34 truck before I finish the other one. It's mostly electronics and lights on the semi truck. I'm sorry. You know, I know, I'm you know Jack. You know, Jack, it'd be cool. I wish, <laughs> I wish you were able. I wish you were able to come to the United States and go to the White Sands, New Mexico, and run that TRX six. I wish you would. I wish you would, Jack. I wish you. Would. I, wish I wish you I could, too. Jack. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could. I wish I could fly. Yeah, for sure. Now, me, wants so, to know I, if I if I could fly and I had a bit of money to go overseas to to visit someone. Uh, in the the first, guess who the first person that I would visit? I give you one Frank. guess. Pascal. Frank. Brad. No, not me. It'd be Frank. No, it'd be Pascal. Tony's Same right on the Tony's right on Tony's right on the money, mate. You got it in Pascal. one. Pascal. You bet. You bet. I'll uh, detour tank and hit the Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Tom said Trax's banner covering all the Timmy's. <laughs> uh, try a green no screen, see if it works. Steve said, How's the bug tank? The bug is good. It's hiding behind the banner. So, uh, well, yeah, green screen leave, work the, with the banner. leave the banner where it is. Don't pull that Herbie out, whatever you do, okay? Yeah, Did you I, I, don't pull that Herbie out, whatever you do, because I'm going to tell you to go and run it. What about I, I have a running video of it? I do have well, a video. What about mate. the one you, you lengthened or shortened or whatever? Have we seen that one yet? The reveal? Was yeah. that here? Yes. <laughs> can but he can hide all his he can hide all his secret ones that he doesn't want to show you behind that banner. No worries, Josh. I could send it over to you, mate. No worries, mate. Just uh it'll cost probably two hundred dollars shipping, maybe more from here. You can run it on those scenes. Thanks, Josh. So here's the truck. Oh, we're seeing this truck again. Oh, so it's going to be like the Herbie hey, wait a second. Looks like you put the headlights on it. So we'll, we'll see the Herbie for that long. It. And then that truck, so we'll I gotta, see this one too. I got to put the body on it a little bit more. Like I got to attach it. It's going to be Velcro. But I got the um, 1.5 yeah, wheels at the front and 1.7s at the back. The truck tires, aren't they? Truck I am going to get they? some 3D printed. Uh, instead of rubber, they will be uh, plastic because I want to make a drifter out of it. Nice. I did. I like the flames on it. Sticker box. Uh, that's the how I got the body it was pre-painted. Uh, I did cut the Cheater. box and make it deep. So, so now I got a deep box. And uh, I will make some wood lats on the bottom. Uh, I did make. Where is my bar? And I did nice. get the light kit. I did make a bar, and I put the light. So this is the bar that goes up front. So, it almost looks like it's also a suspension nice. piece. Like a 30s Ford. Yeah. So slowly and surely, I'm <laughs> working on it. <laughs> okay. No, I'm laughing at Steve. -o. So 11, Char 11 Charlie said, is the bog arctic white too? No, that's her <laughs> <Herbie. laughs> The Herbie. bug is what color is that white? That's a good question. Let me check. Arctic white. white. It's Arctic <laughs> white. Get it right. Arctic <laughs> white. It's uh, pearl. pearl I'm gonna blame you. I'm gonna pearl blame white. you, Brad. I'm gonna pearl. be walking around today with Arctic <laughs> white in my head. It's a PS fifty seven pearl white. The bug. Different. It's a different color. Pearl white's different than Arctic white. So, it's... Mas, Mas, I said it was pearl white. No, no. Frank's got pearl white in the can. I said no, Arctic white is a different white. The, no, when I put up the Patriotic 6, Mass Master said it's pearl white. Oh, I swore it said Arctic white when I saw its color. Where so, did you see it was that where did you see it was called Arctic White, Fred? When I first saw the color. When I saw when I saw the when I saw the uh video of the first uh, of the the new white color. 
Okay, let's go check on the Traxxas website. Maybe it's so. Set Jack, down. do you have a do you have a, a beach with black sand? No, we don't have. We, we I mean, I watch some. I watch people's videos like in the UK and all that, and they just got rocks. Well, here we got white sand, mate. Look at the. Oh no, yeah, because Swamber's RC was saying you should take it to that beach with the black sand. Oh, oh, I, 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 you what, need like a beach? volcanic beach. Right? Oh, yeah, that's a volcanic okay, I'm, not in, I'm not in Hawaii, mate. If I was in Hawaii, it would be awesome. Hey, hey, hey. I, I know, Jack, you also have beautiful red sand uh, dunes in your country. There you Jesus, go. Mas, master, it's Alaskan white because the Nali got its problem solved. There you go. <laughs> Alaskan white. Pretty it's clever, Alaskan. Master. He's always pretty clever. So F Finland asked... Um, Finland has anyone seen or used the new WPL V3 sign kit? No, never even heard tell of it. So never heard of that one. Yeah. He also asked, um, what do you guys think of the improvements WPL have been doing to their models? No well, idea. They're making but... them hobby grade. That's what they're doing. Yeah, yeah they're getting a lot of metal parts in them. No, they uh, Dan's not here, but uh, they some of them are coming out now with metal drive shafts and everything. Metal gear, the gears, and everything. Yeah, so you don't have to buy all those anymore. So they're coming out with all that stuff. I mean, haven't they got a site now or something? They got their own site. Yeah, I think they just came out with a one ten crawler or something, didn't they? Well, Any sixth grader with a computer can make a site these, these days, though. Yeah. Okay, yeah. why does it make it legit mate? to me? I got sad news to uh, for uh, Brad. What? It is no. not Arctic white. It is not a Arctic white. Hey, Box World, what's up? The new metallic white edition TRX. I, now, I someone did say said, it had, now, I someone did say it had metallic colors. Uh, someone said it had metallic in it. Who was it? Yeah, me. I said it to you. It had metallic color in it. Metallic lake. <laughs> An Arctic metallic. No. We're, yeah, we, we've uh, digressed to talking about shades of white. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I I'm white is white. To out who's pretending to be green, but yeah, <laughs> it's got a red, red little line around the tires. Mm. But at the yeah, end of the day, awesome. at the end of the day, it's still a bloody Mercedes G wagon. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's the yeah. only problem with that truck. Like it's a Mercedes G wagon. Right. <laughs> well, don't forget they're coming out with that uh, loader, that one that hold, that can uh, hold a car. Don't forget they're putting that body on that. The what? It, the one with it where it has a, a, a flatbed uh, trailer on it. Got a slap on one. Yeah, oh, don't yeah. worry. I've got, I've got a, uh, I've got a custom trailer that I got a couple of years ago that I'll be towing on the back of this thing. I've got some. What are you towing the back? It should I'm actually look good. It should I'm actually look good behind that. Yeah, oh, for sure. Yeah, because it's well, the trailer is chrome, uh, made out of alloy, but um, it, it will look good behind. Uh, this thing here, and uh, I did see a couple of videos where they're towing, towing trailers on the back of it, and that. And uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll think of I don't know, I'll, SCX10 I could put on the back, it will look good, or whatever. Or or, uh, or your or your Beetle, the the, uh, the Tamiya Beetle. Won't fit, won't fit. Well, oh, I'm surprised. Too wide. The Brenner Beetle Blitzer. What's the Too trailer made out of? Alloy. <laughs> Which alloy? Is it aluminum? Aluminum, or? aluminum <laughs> yeah. Aluminum, yeah. Aluminum. Ah, he, he didn't say aluminum. Aluminum. Not thing. aluminum. We say aluminium here. What aluminum? Yeah. <laughs> but, but you, get, but you know how to say help. aluminum. <laughs> yeah, break here. What's going on? So aluminium. We've got the right English here, brother. Yeah. Aluminum. <laughs> it's like it's saying means, uh, yeah. soda. Queen's English. I'm going to go and soda something. <laughs> yeah. And collar has a U in it as well. Forget yeah. that. Hmm. My no, but I will. I'll tell you something on it. The touring car will look probably good on the back of it. I don't know. Something. I don't know. Like what? Of, I think like one of your old Holdens. I'm, I'm uh, pretty good when it comes to That's thinking. <laughs> An old Holden. An old Holden model you have. Yeah, I've got the touring cars I can put on the back. Oh, the effigy. How do you reckon tank? Tank now. Yeah, tank size. Oh, right yeah. Up now. What? What? Oh, oh, tank yeah. Tank size going right up now, mate. Oh, yeah. Hey? Somebody say effigy? The... Put the effigy on the back of it. What do you reckon, Tank? Yeah, that will look good, yeah. <laughs> now, well, you know what would look better? The ute with the motor. 
that little bit of money. Yeah, that, that's long gone. Yeah, that, that's that's gone, yeah, I know. I know. Man, I says I've given the sold was just stupid. Oh well. Hey, Jake, I'll think, of, I'll think of something. Don't worry. So Tony, hey, there's a question to you um, from Frank Toddler. Um, is that an SM7B mic? That's the Tony. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Hey Jake, what do you got that's new that you're working on? That I'm working on? Uh, yeah. Nothing at the moment. <laughs> I, I saw that video of yours. It looks like you were apologizing for something. <laughs> uh, maybe to my wife washing RC cars in the shower. <laughs> no, I think it had to do with uh, why why you call yourself a team. It was about what you were saying. You were talking about uh, a team and like you hadn't showed any videos or something. And there were no trucks behind you and stuff like that. That was the first one on his I'm video, wasn't it? Wasn't I the first on your video or something? Yeah. The truck's behind yeah, you, now. you know, You know why I was first on your video? You know why? Because I rang the bell. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's just stabbing you, Frank. He's just stabbing you. I got to say, nah, he knows I, don't I'm lie, I don't lie about it. I say I don't ring the bell. I don't lie about it. Like he knows, he knows I'm stirring him up. He can handle me. Don't worry. He's handling me handled me over these years. Don't worry. He can handle it. He doesn't cry like a, he doesn't cry like a baby. Don't worry about that. He doesn't get offended. Nah. Life's too short. Why get mad at something that's irrelevant? No, nah, we just don't have a lot of humor, mate. A lot of banter. That's all it is. Some I, people get offended by it. Stiff shit. That's all I can say. Hey. You know hey, those uh, Australian people? They just talk and talk and talk. Hey, we got the we got the. Be- <laughs> what are you going on about? What are you going on about? I've been silent today. I've been letting everybody You've else go. Been for silent, it. really? <laughs> We're back in the You'll see who's been silent. Really, really, <laughs> mate. Us Aussies have got the best humour. Trust me. <laughs> oh come on! You're leaving us. Party. We're laid back. Oh, We're laid back here. Don't worry. It's everything's oh, yeah, easy for us. Bro. We're laid back. Dude, that's here, a knife. This is a knife. <laughs> yeah. That's right, oh, Brad. He showed you the, the sword earlier. Thank you, yeah. yeah. Sheila. <laughs> hey, hey, yeah, hey, so hey, there you go. Gem City. Thank you. I love the banter. Thank you very much. There's no no one gets offended. You know, some people get offended in the past. I don't care. They know it's all banter. I don't have I don't swear at anyone or I don't bully anyone. That's all good. How you going, John? Nice to see g'day, you. Get out, get out, Sheila. <laughs> <laughs> that was brought up yesterday, wasn't it? Hey, hey, no, Jake, no, it's, all, it's all fun. It's all fun, you know. I don't, I don't offend anyone or anything like that. Oh, look, see, look, I offended Steve. I know I'm upset. We got Jack. No, I'm never offended. Uh, Aaron's offended. Oh, sorry, Aaron. You're offended. Sorry, brother. <laughs> that's okay, mate. I'll never offend you. That's for sure. Hey, 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 Jake, you also said I was... Uh, hey, so, yeah, yeah, and, and, and you get all these different... That, Jack, we all know that the water in your toilet turns the other way, right? RC's, no, you, RC's you always say the other way. That it goes upside down. I mean, it <laughs> make up your mind, mate. No, no, no it, 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 instead of rolling totally clockwise, it goes counterclockwise, right? Yeah. When you flush. I'm a good bloke. Don't worry about that, mate. Look at this. Look at what the people are saying in the chat. Even even Aaron. I was a good bloke yeah. to Aaron four or five years ago, wasn't I, Aaron? I wish Aaron was on here with the video with us. That would be nice. Uh, he knows. <laughs> so play Aaron some knows. music for his video. For yeah, you. he knows. He put the uh, music Still the, uh, video. Well, I actually, I actually uh, did. Well, last time he was in the chat, he was, uh, sorry, he was on the live. And I actually told him that I deleted my old guitar channel and he still had my link to my old channel. So I actually renamed it again, the same name, The Phantom's Guest. But no, nah, that was awesome. I couldn't uh, work well with the Bristol Trawler. It was fantastic. He picked the right music. I mean, yeah. I sent him enough. Cool. Hey, Jake, again, you play with Jack, you could, you, Jack, you could probably play anything. No. Uh, no. I'm not that. Uh, no, he picked out. The right music for what he did. He uh, with the, with the trawler that he that he had that time, and uh, it was ambient. It was perfect. What I hmm. what I meant is, I think you could probably play any music on the guitar. You you like Mate. to be modest. Oh, I wouldn't I, say I'd play it. I mean, I don't like country and stuff. So well, I Eleven, 11 Charlie says we love you. 
Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Thanks very much, Harvey. Yeah, you're a champion, brother. Anybody watch the uh, Aaron's video with his uh, the Raminator with the new mortar? That's pretty good. Oh yeah. Oh, it was blowing bacon. flame. I saw out of the exhaust. I would have ate the bacon. I'm not gonna lie. He done. He done a good one today. There though. Where... He did another one showing the size. Yeah. Yeah. I put up a side like the SCX10, the old SCX10 that he had. It looks like it goes through snow real good too. Yeah. Yeah. My goodness. Yeah, it's got me. It's got me counting dollar signs for all the RCs in my garage. Like, what could I sell <laughs> to get one of those? <laughs> but you need four grand to get into it, like for real, with the motor and everything. Is uh, well, uh, has Aaron got a TRX six? Yeah, he has. Yeah. Has he? Uh, he's yeah. got the black one, right? Yes. Yeah. I don't know. Just the the because the white one's new. Yeah? The, the, yeah. Like I haven't seen anyone on YouTube that's got one. I have. Is it, the, I is it the Canadian white version of it? Or? <laughs> oh, thanks a <laughs> lot, Tony. Awesome <laughs> thanks a lot. I don't know. Well, I'm just saying. Wait, which version of white chat. did we get this time? Hey, hey oh, Tony, okay. why did you get two gold, gra uh, grave diggers, the new ones? Why did you get the new two SMTs? Why did you get two of those? Because well, your I, children? I understand if it's for your children. Well, my wife won't watch this channel. It was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> she, showed, she showed two of them. Yeah, Thanks, she's on double both. click. <laughs> okay, if it was a mistake getting the second one, how come you got a builder's kit? That's a third one. It's different. Why well, are you no, gonna I'll call me out I'll, like that? Uh, I'll think I'll put on it. <laughs> I happen to like monster trucks, and uh, no, I, no mean, I mean, one of them is gonna be a mud truck, but I, I'm actually gonna do um, a. Uh, my mud truck will be one of my old ones that I've already done in the mud. And then the kit is going to be uh, a new truck that I have that I'm getting somebody to 3D print a body for me for. And I'm getting a wrap from uh, Bari Musauer, who does who drives the um, the zombie monster truck. So okay. it's gonna it should be pretty sweet when it's done. That's why you bought the new uh, SMT twice, because I saw you had a new body on, on it. Well, no, the, the second the second grave digger was a mistake. Um, oh, then what are you gonna do with it? He's not sending it. it to you. So. I just told you I'm, I'm trying to buy a raminator, so I'm gonna sell that. <laughs> and... Sell some blood. Yeah. Sell some blood. What was that funny? <laughs> I got all your children like and your wife's blood. <laughs> Your, back, your backyard's in bad enough shape, Tony. Imagine yeah. that Raminator running through it. <laughs> Raminator. He'll destroy it. Yeah, but he would destroy that. It'll plate. knock that fence over. That is for sure. <laughs> that fence is yeah, barely over. standing, man. Yeah, but it's slower, it also, so that's all right. It, it yeah, also, it's slower it's at slower. 80 pounds doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah it's it, all right. It, it, it would, That'd be it, like having your kid run into a fence at yeah, uh, five it, miles an hour. Just, just keep the slow motor. Like, He's gonna he's gonna run over his jungle gym and knock it down. I, I want to know if Aaron is because we talked about it earlier that Aaron is gonna get it, uh, but uh, is Aaron gonna get that ten tank? Is Aaron gonna get it? Steve <laughs> recommends his burn banks as a. Uh, I just read that. Yeah. It's hilarious, man. <laughs> Come on, man. He's gonna get it. Aaron, you're gonna get Aaron's it. Aaron's gonna get it. Don't say plasma. We'll be talking about TVs in a minute. Yeah. Iron. Oh, that was <laughs> <laughs> you got Aaron, Aaron, I could see Aaron getting that. I wish he was on here live talking to us. So, I mean, in the video. Uh, Aaron, this is the new Tamiya truck, the 8x4 uh, that uh, is coming out. This is still the prototype. So this is a sweet truck. Uh, and... <laughs> Would be very cool to see. Actually, I would love to have that, but everybody here would love to have that. Yeah, I see that, work. and I, I see that, and I think penalty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, what? And I was not going to worry about a toy like that. Penalty it truck, a, friggin', a bigger one. <laughs> yeah, Iron has his own racker. Like he, he got one custom built, and that thing is sick. Like I remember years ago when he first brought it onto the channel. Yeah. Like he, he kept showing clips yeah, the of the common, one. and then when it actually came out, it was like, holy crap! I, think. I, 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 I do think Aaron will. Get and it that. was a, it was a no expense. <laughs> he'll even tell you, <laughs> it was a no expense spurred racker that he built. Like it's a one. He's wondering how much it costs. Yeah, I don't know if we know exactly how much it costs. Yeah, uh, we don't know yet how much it costs because it is still a prototype, and uh, it, 
it's not listed yet, so I don't know what the cost is going to be for that. But this is going I, to become this is a complete kit form, yeah. Uh, yes, I say, how much is it? Kit. How much is it? Kit. Take it to Germany, fly in there, and walk out with that bad boy. Yeah, yeah, it, it's going to cost like two thousand dollars, and I, everybody's pretty much in agreement about that. But it's going to be their most expensive vehicle. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> Well, it'll be interesting to see when people start buying it and building it. I mean, Steve, I, I think Steve -O said he's going to get it. Uh, I'm thinking it's going to be over two thousand bucks. That's what I'm thinking. Two thousand. Yeah. There doesn't yeah. seem yeah. to be yeah. enough yeah. stickers yeah. on it though to be a Tamiya. That's true. <laughs> but it is hey, on my seat. Hey, hey Tony. It looks like, it, looks like it has a lot more metal parts on it too. Mm. Yeah. It's got metal parts. I think even the the record part is probably metal too. I know they. God, we heard that six thousand times already. That record, look wow, how six, shiny it is. Yes, six thousand and one, Sean. <laughs> you know, come on here, look how shiny that record arm is. It's metal. It's metal. I'm telling you, it's metal. PK. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Aaron. Yeah, don't forget to thumbs up the video, guys, if you like it. And if you don't, comment below and let us know why. We'll try to make it better next time. Uh, Maybe I won't I talk so much, right, Jack? Right? <laughs> Sorry, I was falling asleep earlier on. Someone woke me up. Okay. <laughs> I don't know who. Someone, yeah, so I was, I was wasn't, it Char wasn't it 11 Charlie that woke you up? <laughs> you must have definitely told you to wake up. Wake uh, up. I've been doing this too long, mate. Yeah. I'm you still trying to where Green Frog is here. Damn, they still have that Raminator. Yeah. That's not kicking. Kagan's a quiet achiever. Don't worry about Kagan. He's a quiet oh, that, That's not Kagan. him, man. Kagan actually got his hair. all groomed up and nice now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. his uh, hair's all groomed up. That's what I'm saying. Hey, hey, hey Jeff, He's you know you're one of our favorite personalities. <laughs> I'm one of your favorite personalities. All of us. I think you're all of uh, you're all you're all of us is one of favorite personalities. Uh, well, I don't know. Jack, you'd have to ask. You'd have to ask Tank is. that. Hmm? We'd have to ask Tank, mate. But uh, like I said earlier about Kagan, he looks like Ned Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> get ready. Get get the guns ready, Kagan. What do you reckon, Kagan? I'll bring up a Google picture of Ned Kelly and share it and see how close you are to him or what. <laughs> the only <laughs> problem is you've got a grey be gray beard. His is fully black, mate. 11, Charlie says he looks like William Wallace. <laughs> <laughs> and Frank Maybe you need Kutzer. to go to Hollywood and play a western and <laughs> a western there. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to go to Frank uh, Frank Trottier's house and show him and write a couple RCs. I remember when I got back into it, I went to his house, show him the little E Revo, and I was in front of his house and uh, showing him how fast it went. So now I should bring him a couple other trucks and have fun at this house. So Keegan Eleven Charlie said you're in the beard gang. The beard Never gang. In the beard gang. Tony's barely in there too. So Steve, -O, have you started building? Have you started building my Tamiya truck yet? That's more important. Than that racker. You got to build that first one for me. Oh, do you guys want a secret hint about what's coming up on the show? Yes. Sure. Well, Aaron, why don't you jump in? Why don't you jump in and tell us live what it is? Yes, Aaron, we, we always love you here in the video, man. <laughs> you can Come be on, the, Aaron. Break the story. You can be the one to break the story. He said he uh, had a cold case. Yeah, he has a cold. Like so. Okay, that's fair. He is, he is up north. He's not feeling well, right? In Calgary. Yeah, he's, not feeling, he's, not he's not feeling too good. Eh? You know, a lot of people are not feeling well. So well, next like time on RC Sparks, what are we going to see? There you go. He's going to give you the scoop. We're going to see Sparks flies <laughs> on RC Sparks. Here's I know the I know what the scoop is, Aaron. I've been ordering parts to bring back a favorite truck. Oh, oh okay. Oh, the um, the Yoda uh, Yoda truck that uh, mm. the Yoda, Yoda truck, huh? 
Oh, the one he did like top Project gear. Overkill. Oh, no, he's oh, uh, probably Overkill. Overkill's Ooh. getting modified again. Probably. Nice. Yeah. I'm mean, building Overkill. Gold and black. Nice. Now, gold and black. That's so he can work on his uh, gold uh, mine. <laughs> A whole new series, he said. Cool. Oh, it's gonna be called Overkill. RC Sparks Overkill. Show. No, he's got a truck called Overkill. Yeah, yeah, I know he's got a truck yeah. called Overkill, but you said he's not like a, he was making another channel. He already has like two or three. No, he's got two channels. No, he's not going to do the rebuild. It's all on new, it must be. Mm. Cool. Sounds Mickey, mate. Not a re, but not a rebuild of the original. Not a mod. I'll be uh, following in that one for sure. Not a modified. New truck, but wrap it up with an old version. Most of you guys spend a lot of time making. Oh, it's a, it's going to be a new thing. truck, but a folks are really nice to keep it up. It's going to be a replica of the old version. Cool. Oh, Jack disappeared on us. Yeah, but overkill's been through so much. Like it's had a lot of different colors, a lot of different. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of face lifs. It's called something else first, too. Yeah. There's also he's done a lot of done a lot of face lifts to it. The truck. He said you will see a new TTC truck. Cool. Cool. The the new TTC truck is gonna be running on which platform? Super shafty. Wow, GMC top kick body. Cool. New TTC truck. Yeah. Hey, Aaron, are you getting the new? Um, I know you have the Judge. Are you getting the new RC four wheel drive uh, Intimidator? Is that what it's called? Or the what's their pull their sled? Puller, their pull sled. So he said steel drive lines, SEX ten original. Nothing wrong with the original SEX ten. Uh, I still is he, is he gonna get those new Mini Z crawlers? <laughs> That's a good question. Are you going to get the new Mini Z 124th scale crawlers? That's I good. please, I beg, I hope not. Oh, come on. <laughs> Just because you don't like the small ones doesn't mean everybody else doesn't like it. Yeah. The the sled. He's got the judge. You don't need it. But Yeah, the pull sled would be, I, for me, for my house, when I do events here, I'd love to get the pull sled. Yeah, yeah man. He said, no, I'm skipping the pull sled. Well, it's cool, too, if you saw the way that they do the reset for it, the box on it and everything. It just was pretty and cool. And when it gets to uh, 20 feet, the wheels actually locks at the back. Yeah. So that's really yeah. interesting. Uh, they really want to smoke uh, the motors. <laughs> <laughs> I, I gotta so try 11, to get some sponsors. 11 Charlie, to, 11 Charlie said Intimidator. Okay. Yeah, it's Intimidator. That's what I, <laughs> I, I gotta get some sponsors or people business here. So to put their stickers on the, the pull sled or actually paint the whole sled, uh, so, somebody and, and try to get them or a company to pay for it. But uh, I'm gonna have to work hard to get somebody to pay for that. So. Hey, hey, Frank, Aaron. Yeah, how about uh, getting a, an actual working uh, V8 motor for the Raminator? Uh, RC Spark says I was looking at them, yeah. but he already has a set of the SCX1024. And uh, now, see? now it's the Axial has a Chevy bodies. Yeah, he loves them. them. So he likes his. Uh, SCX 1024, SCX 24, I mean. It's not really 124, so it's a bit big for 124. Yeah. Uh, uh, has you ever thought of getting a real working uh, uh, scale working V8 for the Raminator? Has ever thought about the man? I know he just changed it. He just got the TMR, man. That thing's, that thing's money. <laughs> I don't so think the, so the... change it out yet. The thing's got some good torque. Yeah, but can you imagine if it was an actual working V8 of that scale? <laughs> That would be, that thing would fly <laughs> even more. Matthew Mortillo was doing backflips off of trees with his, uh, with the TMR system in it. Yeah, did you see that? That was insane. Them yeah. Like, he was posted great. on the Solid Axle Monster Mayhem group. Yeah. Like, for that, for that Raminator to do a backflip is crazy. Like, I'm surprised I haven't seen any of them do the, 
because I know the guys were testing the rear wheel steer as well because the, their shop is only like 10 minutes from my house and when, they, when they're testing stuff you just hear it ripping in the parking mm-hmm. lot but they were testing it with a rear wheel steer like so I'm surprised a lot of people have not added that in for a better monster truck with that like that would be nice oh. having it with rear wheel steer. That would be yeah. nice. Yeah. Hey, 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 Tony, did you get that video about that guy who made that one third third scale uh, hybrid vehicle? No, man. I was working. You kept sending me all these videos. Like I was in the UK <laughs> for work, filming like fourteen hour days, man. Well, I, I just had to. Get to I was deleting out. them because my inbox was getting full of YouTube videos. I didn't have time to get to them. Mm-hmm. Um, well, but, he has yeah. a new gearbox going into it. He has a new gearbox he just built. Yeah. Well, I'm waiting to see because I know um, RC Tanks and Trucks, Steve and them, uh, they bought another one of the Raminators and they're planning to go electric with it. So I'm curious to see how that works. But hey, the, they, have um, 15, they, they have 15 horsepower electric motors in scale in that scale. Yeah. I actually, I actually asked uh, Aaron that question on his a couple of videos back. Uh, has anybody tried putting an electric motor into the Raminator? And it's interesting that somebody is actually doing that. It makes sense. So he has a, he said, here's my argument against the Cloney. Is I have never seen one go more than 10 mile an hour tops. And it's 8,000 in Canadian dollars, I guess. That is in Canadian dollars. Mm-hmm. Oh no, it's 8,000 in Canadian dollars. Is nine thousand four hundred, and how would I get parts? Nah, TMR engine and pipe. So yeah, that was his answer. To that, it, I mean, it comes alive. When they had it down at Digger's Dungeon, when they had the TMR in, it was it. You know, it was it was jumping, and um, I'm torn because so Bari, the guy that I'm getting the, he does a lot of the wraps and stuff for all the monster truck stuff that we do, um, but he makes his own uh fifth scale electric and so there's these hess machined axles uh he does um you know it's a, a cnc aluminum chassis and a whole bunch of cool stuff mixed with low c parts and you know as far as diff cases and all that so he's got a pretty cool setup but i've never seen anybody really use them like so there's a bunch of guys that bring him to the monster truck races and they kind of do like a dog and pony show where they go over a few crush cars and kind of do little jumps off it but like I, when i watch aaron send his off of the snow banks and all that and crash into the other snow bank and you yeah. know matt mortilla doing backflips off of the uh the trees and like the, people are actually putting these things out there and and sending them and i'm like man that's <laughs> that's what i'm talking about right there so but i'm torn because you know there is that you know electric is nice it's good and bad you know because batteries are expensive and when they go down you have to wait to charge them again Mm -hmm. um but yeah noise (laughs) of the engine is nice oh i love the sound man yeah later rc mcmaster later so Aaron mm-hmm. said, Dan, the designer of the truck, has passed on to me that the TMR engine and rear wheel steer is a bad combo. He yeah. suggests the rear wheel steer on the stock truck only. Kevin Talbot, well, he said Kevin is getting the rear wheel. So Kevin Talbot must be getting the Raminator as well. It probably, yeah. I would I would imagine that it's just would roll over one. But I guess, too, that the servos trying to keep it straight it, when you are going straight and that much power under it, you probably start burning up servos and stuff. That's a meaty truck to have on that kind of system. But they have one eight, they have one fifth scale servos. You think they'd still burn up real good? Yeah, because I didn't know until I like because I, I didn't realize for the longest time that they're actually only 10 minutes from my house. But oh, I yeah, I didn't know that they're actually they're, they're the same guys that make the roving as well like all them through the hpi clones yeah. they actually make all the road because it's the same shop roving and like primal is in the same store like okay. i didn't know that till i actually went inside the place interesting like, yeah it, it, has anybody seen the new scorpion double xl from kyosho uh-huh the wxl buggy 
uh, Scorpion Double XL from Kyosho. I just saw a video on it. I mean, I haven't seen it, but I saw the thumbnail of it. It looks like it's an eight scale buggy. Electric. Okay. So mm -hmm. it's called the Scorpion Double XL. Okay. The balloon just went. <laughs> so RC Sp <laughs> RC Sparks Tony said, "Thank thank you, Tony. We are beating on the truck. It's pure beef. Yeah. Tony is cracked. Batteries get hot. They last fifteen minutes, and they literally carrying around small bombs to power the truck." Jumping the raminator with the rear wheel steer, you could land, twist it. Yeah, that's a that's a real big issue, yeah. Unless you're mad at me out of titanium, but that's very expensive. But you know Kevin's going to jump it, even with the rear uh, steer, yeah. man. Oh, yeah. He's going to send, send that send thing. Man. Yeah, you know, could, could if, they, if they used uh, titanium to do the rear, wouldn't it be less likely to break? Bring the cost up. So, yeah, yeah so I'd bring the cost up, but it would... Well, like you're just gonna, it's gonna be rod ends that break. Like it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be the axles that are breaking. Well, could they make them out of titanium? Those those things. Well, then you bend something. Like you want a break point, so your best point is to leave it at a rod end, on a, on one of the four links. So if you land wicked, you can just have it pop. Mm -hmm. So Finland said they need to get moto mule. To a monster truck event with his four wheel drive petrol powered grave digger power wheels. So he must have turned a power wheels into a power wheels grave digger. Oh, I've seen. Oh, wheels. yeah, man. He totally souped that up. Nice. I've seen some power wheels with massive engines in them. <laughs> he and built a doing... whole frame and everything for it. It's pretty sick. And he sits in a power power uh, wheels body. <laughs> That's just a tight squeeze in itself. <laughs> John said Brad randomly brings up a Kyosho from 2012. <laughs> yeah, it looks like Nick Cruiser looked at it, and it's a Kyosho that was from 2012, the one you were talking about. Oh, it's too bad. It's a good looking one. All right. Later, RC Sparks. Uh, we'll see you Sunday for your loading wars. Yeah, see you later, Aaron. Loading King. Sorry. Uh, yeah, sorry. See you later, Aaron. Yeah, 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 Aaron. Sorry, loading Kings. It is now. I can't yeah, get used to that because it's been loading wars for so long. You know? Yeah. <laughs> nice of him to pop in. Yeah. yeah. He usually just pops out of the blue now and again. He's a busy man. Of course he is. It, it, All of you are. It's a lot of oh. work uh, to keep a YouTube channel steady and with a steady stream of video and yeah. constant, like it, the editing and the planning, and it's it's a full time job when you when yeah. You... But he get, don't forget the notifications. It, it, I mean, I, I, I doubt notice. I doubt that he has a lot of bells rang on on uh, YouTube channels. Uh, because he must be very busy just planning and editing and his family life and all that. Like, it's it's crazy. I bet all of you guys are But emails, notifications, you know. He has answered some of my <coughs> questions. RC84, what is that you're working on? You... Uh, my SCX10, too. We asked that question at the beginning. Weren't you listening? Yeah. No, <laughs> no, it's all good. No, no. <clears throat> no it, it started off as a, like a kind of a an overhaul, just redoing a few things, and I ran into the battle gear being warped, and the uh, out shaft pinion gear was warped, and slipper pads. So I can't believe the pads lasted as long as you said they were two years. Yeah, two years, and I've been running like I run the truck almost every Sunday. At a crawler course here at hometown, and yeah, <laughs> I'm surprised. That's, a, that's that's about the same time it takes for you to go through your brakes on your car. <laughs> so I guess I don't know. <laughs> so, I mean, it's a real first issue I've had with the truck in the two years of owning it, so can't complain about it. <laughs> so you're mm -hmm. saying it's been reliable for you? Oh yeah, it's 
pretty much been my go-to vehicle when I go out and crawl. I mean, I got other crawlers, but that's pretty much go my go-to one. So, did you ever own a SCX10, the original one? Yes, I did. Okay, that was actually my second hobby grade RC. Cool. So, you know, I, I, if I had those, I would have kept. Uh, if I had the ability to keep on the holding on to those things, I would have always kept my originals. I would have always kept them. I kept them alive somehow. Yeah, I could have, but because that's going to be a collector's item. The first uh, SCX had. Uh, uh, I don't. I don't think so. There's too many of them. So yeah. <laughs> they're diamond dozen. Yeah. Well, are the original X SCX ten? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I didn't have that fire. I'd still have all my Tamayas. Just like the XR ten, I think it is, or the the crawler, the one of the first crawler they made axial, and it looks like a pro crawler. Uh, my buddy had uh, one, and he was trying to sell it, and nobody was buying it. Nobody's buying it. Really? Uh, well, what does everybody know about the Cole Rally models now? The cool. I don't know knockoffs. The Cole Rallies. They're called Cole Rallies or something. I don't know. Team Corrali. Yeah, Corella. Team Corrali. Yeah, Team Corrali. Yeah. XR10. Yes, that's correct. Uh, AV Froggy RC. Yeah. Seems like so. OMG RC is selling them. <laughs> I'm seeing more and more uh, signups. I'm seeing more and more people showing the MCGs. The well, AC, uh, AC Froggy said X, XR10. Yes, Frank. Yeah. They, they're showing more uh, MCDs on video now that I guys told you about a couple of months back. Oh, yeah? Yeah, there's different types. I think there's gas, electric, and, and they're, uh, they have 10th and larger models. <laughs> uh, Ferland says, um, uh, "No, Bucks RC World says he wants that Escort that you." Oh uh, yeah, that Mark II you have, Jack. That thing yeah, is yeah, I don't have it anymore. I sold it. What? You He's... got rid of that as well, man. Well, tank, tell him why I got rid of it. The paint job wasn't nice on it. The the guy used the wrong paint. He did not use PS paint. And this and this was a guy that knows how to paint, by the way. Oh, he used a TS or something, yeah. buddy, or. Yeah, yeah just flaking off, mate. Look, you know how to respray? You know how to respray? No, I can't. I can't spray. But that thing was I, sick. Yeah. Man, it, brought, it brought some memories back. Like, yeah, it's crazy. When we sure. were younger, when we were younger, like the Mark IIs were, you picked them up in the freaking scrapyard, man, played chicken with them. And now, <laughs> and now, now I went to buy an RS2000. I've been trying to coax the guy to yep. sell it to me to bring over here. Mm. But mm. he's just—he's looking ridiculous money for it. Like, oh, yeah. well, the, where they got them, well, where he got it from was uh, model—is it called Model Sports UK? Yeah, no, but I'm talking about—I want to buy a, an original, a, a real one to drive, like an RS2000. Yeah, but Bucks yeah. wants one, so it's oh, model. Well, I think it's Model Sports UK. They sell all those uh, body shells there. So if you go on their site. You might be able to get one out there. Oh, that that store Tony was in the other day, that Wonderland. Wonderland's bound to have it. Like, hey, hey, Sean, what about an RS two hundred that used to be a rally car? I know, I know somebody, yeah. I can't, I can't get one either. The price of them is crazy. They're also fast as hell, from what I understand. Yeah, because I'll try to find in- the link for you, Wade, and I'll send it to you, mate. I'll find the link, and you can have a look. There's a whole heap of them on their site you can buy. I know there's a guy in the United States who has an RC200. I'll send it to you, mate. Yeah, I would yeah, say... see you later, steve See you tomorrow night on your live, mate. steve have a good one. We'll see yeah, you he's going to take his meds. Yeah, Bucks, I would say if you try a Wonderland RC. Tony, you, what did you think of that store, Tony, when you were in it? Freaking huge, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty cool. They had mainly <laughs> Tamiya and... Uh... Brands that ah. we don't have here, but um, yeah, yeah I mean, to HPI, to me, uh, you know, a lot of cars that I'm not used to seeing on shelves, which is really cool yeah. to be able to see them in person. Um, you should have grabbed some of them. 
No, well, seeing them in person made me realize I don't want any of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know that's the thing, you know. So other than the uh, other than the scale looking to me is, I mean, a lot of the, the comical ones aren't my kind of style. Yeah. No. Um, but so the, like the, the buggy semis chair. looked really cool. Um, mainly the semis, the race semis, I think are pretty cool. You know, I don't need any of the other on-road cars. Not my kind of thing. So. Um, even the semi, I have mine finally finished, and I haven't. I've driven it once. Um, I wish you so. would. I, I wish you would get like a Herbie or something. I wish you would. I wouldn't drive it. Yeah, that's the same. I as want me, to, like, but uh, I just don't. Yeah, that's the same here. Like I think that to me is look cool as hell. Yeah. Like, yeah. The people that's into them. Yeah. But like the rally cars look killer, but. Honestly, for me, I'm never going. It's going to sit in the shelf. And, yeah, the Subaru Rally looks pretty sweet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's like, why am I going to buy? Why am I going to spend my money on something just so they can sit on a shelf? Like, you know, it's like. So you can put a Traxxas sign over it and then not actually not see them anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you later, uh, Frank. Yeah. You turn your lights out, Tony. I don't know. I don't know. My system just went wacky. They're going crash. No. In I see. You know, they, they, I'm, like I'm sure you could have found some of the like metal, like the, the buggy, the scorcher buggy, you know, you know, the buggy, the beetle scorcher one and the other ones that were along that size chassis. Yeah, but the way Tony drives and his style of driving, uh, he's better off with the type of RC he's got compared yeah. to the Tamiya's. Even though they were made out of metal, those ones. Even though they're made of metal. Oh, they'll dent. I'll dent them. Yeah. I was going to say, just because they're made out of metal doesn't make it necessarily tougher. Yeah, yeah. it's still a Tamiya. Or Tamiya, whichever. Tamiya. Yeah. Made of Tamiya. How, how uh, many ways right. can we say to, uh, to Tamiya? How many different ways can we say it? I know. Tamiya, I mean, uh, Tamiya. Uh, Tamiya. Uh, nah, I'm going to have to drink. But I'll tell you what, that is starting to look nice. Yeah. yeah. The VS What's that? The VS410 Pro. Is it? The Vanquish? Yeah. yeah. I saw those axles and I thought it had to be nice. Yeah, man. yeah. Starting to look nice. Well, yeah. Is that Does that come in a 124 scale? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. <Wait. laughs> but see, I, for me, I totally get why Kyosho did it because... It's still a smaller market, I think, in, on, yeah. not, no pun intended, but it's yeah. still a smaller field of cars than the one-tenth crawler market. Like, that would be daunting to get into, to go up against Traxxas, yeah. Axial, uh, Red Cat, RC four-wheel drive, HPI, who else has them? Cross RC, yeah. so, I see Vanquish. That the I cog see, head yeah i see the other guy the, the other guy that started axial i see he's left horizon i right. wonder where he's gonna go to now oh yeah somebody was saying that the other yeah. guy what do you call him tony or what was his name tony something like as well it's tony yeah he started him and the other guy started axial now yeah. he's he's leaving horizon so i wonder if he'll jump over to red cat with his buddy yeah or his, there's John Schultz over at Team Associated and Element. Yeah. So. That's another one, Element RC. Yeah. Oh, there's a man. bunch of them. Yeah. Charisma. Charisma has been making some nice products. Yeah. yeah Charisma just made that new Range Rover. Like, they also Range Rover. They have a new crawler out, don't they? Charisma, I'm not sure. I swore I've seen Charisma Crawlers. Uh, yeah. The Coyote, I think. Yeah, no, well, they brought out the Range Rover. Uh, the Charisma brought out a Range Rover, which is really nice looking. Yeah. Like a nineteen, like a nineteen eighty something Range Rover body. Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh, Tony has a new podcast out. If you guys want to watch it, it's a budget upgrade. For the new Axel SEM uh, SMT10. Uh. Yeah. 
The future is going to be in the videos, honestly. Tony has. Um, let me see. Copy All that. SMT 10 stuff for these days. That's what I yeah. have. Tony's talking a lot about SMT 10. Oh, I don't know if that's going to work. He also was just beating on that low C, too, in his backyard the same day. <laughs> Weren't you, Tony? That <laughs> uh, was a different day, but yeah. I thought that was the same day. <laughs> yeah. Anyone going to Axial Fest? I think I am. To the one in the, mid, the Midwest one? Or which yeah. one are you going to? This one? Yeah. yeah, I think we're going. When, Too far. When it, where is it coming out? Uh, when, are the, when is the Axial Fest? Uh, in June. June. Oh, so. yeah. Well, that's all. You got several months, man. <laughs> Yeah, they have that in June, and they uh, they do it out in around Springfield, Illinois. No, that's here, that's yeah. Horizon Fest, RC yeah. Fest. Oh, this is for you went to that. one's in Indiana, I think. Oh, we're in Indiana. At a campground. Uh, yeah, I don't remember Badlands or something. Yeah, some hey. kind of park. Hey, like, you, hey Tony. Park. Are you driving there, Tony? Or are you gonna fly there? I'll probably fly if I go. Oh, because if you drove, you could come and see me in the, in the process. Because, you know, I'm on the way from you to Indiana. Yeah, it, it's for a weekend, so I, I don't think I'd be able to drive. It had three or four extra days, probably. At least two extra days on top of the weekend. I'll probably fly in. Oh, yeah. Plus, I have a whole bunch of frequent flyer miles. <laughs> So. You have 1,300 downloads on your podcast. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's... It seems like small numbers download, now, not but yeah. The, the people that listen to it, you must have more people that listen to it because you can download it on your phone, I guess. I think a play counts as a download. Oh, yeah? Okay. Yeah. That's all that they count. And I don't know how it works because it it's on... Um, Google, Apple, Spotify, maybe. I don't know all the places it is, but. You're just wired in everywhere, Dr. Tony. <laughs> Try to be. Well, he doesn't know what to do with himself, so. Well, maybe <laughs> he just travels the world. <laughs> you got nothing else better to do. Yeah. Well, if you can make it easy enough to do, why not do it, right? Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> I can sit down and do it in about eight minutes. No takes. Just hit oh, yeah. record on this little thing down here. Talking to the mic here. Hey, Be can you keep working? How are you doing? Yeah. Like I told you a while ago, this don't become too commercial, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he says, yeah, in front of his big I, tracks this time. Can to, <laughs> can to pick up? To pick up? Pick up. I hope I said your name right. Good day, good day. How do you start talking about Jack decks. from Down Under? <laughs> yeah, Jack from Down Under. <laughs> so, uh, how's the fire situation there? It pretty, must be pretty much calmed down now since the rain. Yeah, but, yeah, but now we've got this hot weather going on. It's going to, I mean, there's going to be more fires no matter what. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's just, just crazy. I mean, I, like I said, I went out before and it's just like an oven out there, mate. Hmm. But, uh, yeah, next few days it's going to be hot again. I haven't seen any updates lately, but it's going to be worse and worse as the summer goes on. <clears throat> so Fenman wants to know, have any of you played with uh, RGT EX86010? That's a lot to say. Bro, I I've seen it. the RGTs. I think that's the new Jeep one, is it? That's the orange one, the 86100 Pro. Oh, that's the one you had, Tony, isn't it? Yeah, it's really awesome. Yeah. Carbon fiber rails. Hey, have you guys seen the new video on the, the carbon fiber bodies for RCs? Yeah, I think so. so. Have you bought, they've bought that up nearly every week, Brad. 
Yeah, well, I wanted to know if anybody's seen it. That's why I bring it up every week until someone actually says they've seen it. And what they, I'm going like to say that. I'm not really interested. <laughs> so Matt Cruz just said, Fedio documenting what you're doing is the easy <clears throat> way to pump up content. Hence all my TLR22 and racing videos. That's all I've been doing lately. Hmm. John, I got a notification before that you subbed my channel. Sorry, mate. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Who cares? I'm not really I'm not worried, man. Whether you've subbed or unsubbed, I'm not really it doesn't bother me, mate. Yeah, I'll try to do something when this weather calms down. It's just I can't run this thing out. I'll I'll collapse out there. There's no way I'm gonna do it in this heat. So when it calms down a bit, I'll I'll do something with it. Hopefully. Like Tony suggested, maybe just do a long intro or something. I don't know. Mm -hmm. And then just run it somewhere. Maybe the wood chips. Go over the wood chips, maybe. Wood chips, Might mate. be a good... Maybe, yeah, that's right. <laughs> wood chips, mate. Maybe, yeah, do some wood chipping. Yeah, if you go fast over the wood chip, they're going to fly yeah. off and you put that in yeah. motion. It's going to be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Kagan <laughs> said that yesterday and I'll see what I'll see what I can do with it, mate. You know? I just take a table and lean it against the wall and try and climb it. See what your angle uh, you get. What, what what's that? Put it against the wall. Yeah, a a table. Table against, yeah. Just table. see what kind of angles it'll cl it'll climb up. I'm sure Have it'll you, be crazy. Haven't people already done that? Didn't would Richie do something like that? I think he did Richie something. Probably, yeah, you, you did not do it. Richie probably has an eight ass motor in it by now, and a freaking. <laughs> so. Oh, uh, that thing is that thing is that thing's absolutely insanity. The uh, thing he did. Uh. Javier, yes, mate. I think he's uh, wants to say something to me. Oh, I'll think of something to do with this truck, you know. Yeah, it's I'm got sure a bit of punch. It's got a bit of punch to it. Like I, I changed the gears and stuff on it, and uh, I had a three S in it. I'm just running it up and down the in the backyard in the driveway, and uh, uh, so yeah, I'll just see how what I do with it. Yeah, that when you hit it into the high gear box, it does have a bit of punch in three. Hours. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Even in reverse, I couldn't believe how, how fast it was going reverse. You're mm -hmm. probably doing, yeah, like they're doing J, uh, J turns with it. <laughs> oh, no, well, I'll, I, the, the C Un video, the RC Playground, he did a beach bash and he, he put a 3300 kV motor in it. And oh, that thing flew. Chuck the three S in it, and he's, he's doing side swipes and everything on it on the beach, on the <laughs> sand, on the going up the mounds and stuff. And oh, it was an awesome video. Yeah, I did that with my old SCX10. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I actually I put a three S in my SCX10 a couple of years ago, and and just did some drifting with it on the dirt. Yeah, I did a three cell with a Traxxas twelve turn motor inside of it. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Did it burn yeah. up? <laughs> no. Yeah, or or good, old, good old Titan motors. That don't last very long. Hey, what's up, RC Propaganda? That's why I use the Taken motors. The Taken 30 turn Tanbine Pro. That's I'd a, like to get a Taken 17 turn that I saw for 20 bucks. Yeah, the 30 turn Tanbine Pro is a hard motor to beat. I, I burnt that Actually, one. I, I was thinking of getting a, a 17 turn motor eventually for my uh, car that uh, Shen sent me. Hmm. Good day, Brandon. How you doing, mate? John wants to know uh, what RC should I buy for my birthday next week? Mad Van. What, what are you going to afford? Mad Van. Get a Mad <laughs> Van. <laughs> mate. Mad, mad Van. van. Mad yeah, van, van. Van. <laughs> Listen to Tony. He'll tell Get you. A mad Van, SCX10, or other. Everybody's he, crazy he for mad, the mad van. Everybody's mad for the mad van. SCX10 or a mad van? Uh, SCX uh, mad well, van. He didn't, he didn't mean the SCX10 because his next comment is the uh, SMT10. That's the one. Oh, snap. SMT okay. Yeah. SMT10 or mad van? SMT10. Mad van. Mad van. I think Friday night at Warsaw, John. And they <laughs> race on the beach. Race on the beach, yeah. And at the G6. That's Did they doing. race the monster trucks there? Yeah. yeah. SMT tens or what? Uh, a bunch of different yeah. monster trucks. There's a bunch of quite class. a few of them. I mean the the Mad Van is more 
it's more Shopping. fun, I guess. In some ways, if you're just going out to bash it, it's more fun. But the things and that you can do to scale up the one is what makes it so cool. Mm -hmm. uh, so everybody's saying SMT looks like the chat. Everybody's saying SMT, SMT, SMT. Mad van, yeah, go for the mad van. That mad thing. van, mad van. <laughs> that thing is awesome, man. Put two pieces of paper in the bucket, and then just pick pick you one. Can't, you can't you can't go wrong either way. Yeah. Mm. So propaganda, I take it. Did you mean Pebble Beach, not Pebble Peach? I went to Pebble Pebble Beach. I think he meant Pebble, Pebble Peach. Yeah. Like yeah. holy yeah, crap, Pebble was it pretty? Right. Yeah, I think it's. Yeah, anything solid, actual. Yeah. Hey, hey, uh, Jake, did you talk to the guy at G at the G six about uh, <coughs> the idea? Did I talk to him? Yeah, the guy who runs it. You said they was at. It was, you just went to one. Oh, Parker. No, no, he he's a very busy man. He's hard to get a hold of. Oh, yeah. oh I thought I thought he was at the G six with you. Oh, he he's, he's, I've seen bread. he's there every what? year. He's the one that takes care of it. Yeah. I will I will agree propaganda though. Pebble Beach is a really nice place to go. Yeah. Parker's actually on his way to Costa Rica right now. Actually, he's probably already there. Yeah. A net cruiser or sea check with uh, 110 hobbies. Maybe he can uh, get a uh, mad van for you. Was he got him, is he? what does he got them? Uh, he might he might have one or get a hold of one part or is the g6 yeah. <laughs> there's no g6 without him Jesus. yeah i agree i agree with box world john that that is your answer if, if the smt is only in stock that's telling you to get the SMT. <laughs> <laughs> no, treat yourself. Get both of them. It's your yeah. <laughs> Spend over four hundred dollars. <laughs> That's it. YouTube, yeah, do a nice video, and the YouTube will pay for it. And right. have buy, buy and have several, several. Several. Hey, thank, thank you, your mate. In real life. buy him something for his birthday, thank. Uh, so he said Great Hobbies doesn't stock any KO shows. Don't no, they know don't. Why. Yeah. They don't Hard support on the SMT 10 is great because so much of it's like Wraith, the Bomber. Uh, they're super easy to work on too. Like everything is so accessible in it. So diffs, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah but I want to see, see, I wanna, I wanna see both of them running together. <laughs> both of what? The Mad Van and the SMT. <laughs> you you buy John one and John buys the other. <laughs> you know I don't have that type of money. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, my my local hobby store has two of them. It was very hard to walk out of there today. Walk the Mad Vans or the the yeah. SMT tens. No, hey Mad John, Vans. if you don't know what to do with the STX two <gasps> uh, controller, just bring it my way. I I can yeah. use them on builds. Yeah, just give it to him. He'll be right, mate. I know what to do with them. It works great on the SMT-10, the STX-2. I, I get great range on it. Like, as far as I'd want to drive that truck away from me anyway, like, it's mm -hmm. fine. It's not a super fast car. I can see maybe where some people are saying that it, they're lagging on the Armas or whatever, where you're flipping in. But on the SMT-10, it feels responsive. I, you know, I'm, I'm hardly crashing it driving it, so... Isn't there a new Arma coming out? Another new one? Soon? Sure. Probably. 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 I wonder what it'll be. Something just with a body. It's not going to be a rally car. I know that much. Ugh. I keep asking them for a rally car, and they're like, nope, we're never going to do that. Maybe they're going to come out with a 124th scale. <laughs> uh, that'd, no, be going back, believe, that'd be going I, backwards if they did that. I can't believe they won't do a rally car. That's just... people will go crazy if they bought out a small scale. They thing. got Losi and stuff for that. <laughs> yeah, but Losi doesn't have a rally car either anymore. It didn't do well apparently. Oh, yeah. yeah. 
They said that they would make one for me if I promised uh, two thousand to buy two thousand of them or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> like nope. But Lo- but Losi built that ugly freaking thing. Did you ever see that thing RC Biker Boy has? He has oh, a lot of ugly half, vehicles. Which one are you talking about? A half rally car type thing. Yeah. It's the, ugly one. the ugliest looking car ever. By who? Losi? Losi, yeah. Uh, the Losi 10 Rally? I think something yeah. that's ugly as I had it. It was awesome. It was an amazing <laughs> car. <laughs> I just yeah, traded it for a, a Stampede Gravedigger 30th anniversary edition. Though. Oh, I, I thought you would have. Darn. <laughs> I really wanted it. I. You know, I I lost on that deal, but I won in my own mind. Yeah, I thought I thought maybe you traded it in for the Mad Van. <laughs> nah. Uh, Trail Critter RC GCM Racing is going to host a event at my house this year, so you better come down. Oh, let me know when. So it's going to yeah. be a call call to crawl. It's called. Got a bunch of events I want to attend. So. In the winter lots, time, lots of things to visit in, uh, in Ottawa here with your family. So, yeah, well, we have did your we... wife. Uh, did your wife have a go at you with the RC in the bath, mate? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> not yet. <laughs> I don't think he's watched that yet. <laughs> it was like a, the hose is frozen outside, so I was like, "Oh, I gotta clean it up somehow." Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, 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 I use mine in the shower. All right. I, I washed her up in the shower. Uh, I was thinking of having a shower with it. Funny, man. Oh, okay. (laughs) (laughs) Why waste water, right? Exactly. I got one buddy of mine. Best part I've seen is when a guy took his SCX-10 and to wash it off, he took all the electronics off, he took everything off, and he put it in a dishwasher. That's what my buddy does. Oh, my God. Like, it's (laughs) all fully waterproof so he just throws in the dishwasher when the wife is out and gets yeah. it all nice and clean he's like it cleans nice uh, <laughs> i bet it looks new after the washing machine the, the, the dishwasher yeah do you, know, do you know what the dishwasher is good for wrap Washing. salmon wrap salmon really tight in tinfoil put the salmon mm. in the dishwasher it's the best poached salmon you'll ever have <laughs> yeah how much soap how much soap do we put yeah, you know, it, it's the best poached salmon. You'll not taste better poached salmon. All he does um, is run the hot water in there. That's all he's doing. Yep, that's all I do. Let yeah. it steam. Let steam it. You should show that on YouTube and say this is a new way to cook your salmon. <laughs> yeah. And I actually, I actually learned that from a guy that owns fishing boats and owns a fishing factory. Oh yeah. Well, so you later you use the, now, now you can use the dishwasher to cook food. <laughs> How long did it take to poach it? Cool. Whatever the cycle, sure. he just puts it on a cycle, and that's it. Oh. So it's wow. past, it's past eleven thirty, so we're gonna start saying bye. So uh, just so that we can, uh, we'll start with Brad like that. He should stop talking, hopefully, uh, after he says bye. So Brad, you say bye first. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, everybody, for being here. There you go. Thank you very much for dropping by. And then we'll go um, off to, I believe it's that side. Or is it that side? I'm not sure where which way it is. Uh, Trail Critter RC. Thanks for having me, Tank. Uh, make sure everyone smashes that like button. And uh, we'll see you next Thursday and Friday on Steve Ops. Cool. And uh, guys that are in the panel right now, don't leave right away because we're going to do the after, after hour show, uh, which means we're going to talk about anything. Uh, after uh, the live broadcast is done, uh, RC84 Films. Uh, thank you, Tank, for having me on here and everybody. I really appreciate it. And I'll see y'all again soon. Thank you very much for dropping by. Sean's RC Adventure. All right, everybody. Thanks for taking the time to stop by to chat and spend your Thursday night with us. And Tank, thanks very much for having me. Thank you very much. Uh, Green Frog RC. Thanks for the invite, Frank. I had a good time. Uh, good chat with everybody. And sorry, last week he, there was a mix-up in the email. He didn't get the invite for some odd reason. There's two people that didn't get it's the all, It's all good. Copy-paste is kind of bad. Uh, Tony from CCXRC. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Thank you very much. It's been awesome. And we keep the best for the last.
That's correct. That's which is going to be me after after. Uh, that's rubbish. That's after absolute Jack. rubbish. <laughs> that's absolute right. You know, I'm the best here. You live the best till last. That's why he's in the middle. So I'm in the middle. That's correct. Yeah, go on. See yeah. you guys in the chat. Thank you very much for having me on. And uh, I think next time I might have to take an energy drink because halfway there I was falling asleep. Anyway, see you later, guys. Have a good weekend, and uh, and I'll see you tomorrow on hopefully on Steve Steve uh, live. Cool. Thank Make you very it. much. Never horns. <laughs> guys, thank you very much uh, for dropping in. Really appreciate it. Uh, don't forget, leave a thumbs up uh, if you like the show. And if you want to talk about something or hear about something, drop in. Let's talk about it. Or leave a comment below of what you'd like to see. I'm sure one of us has it uh, and can show it off or get it or know about it. So we'll talk to you guys later. See you next week on RC Talk.